and here we are. You know, the anticipation I'm sure is just fantastic for this and people are expecting something really huge and then it comes on and you go, oh, well that's just Aaron again like he does every day. No, today is special because it's Aaron Con 21. This is more about me selling stuff than it is me doing anything else. Now, come on, we'll draw, we'll have fun, we'll joke, we'll even have snacks, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, this show, this event, this con is so big, I, I, I made a list of things not to forget that I wanted to do. Uh, Shelly Showtime isn't here right this second, but she will be rolling in periodically throughout the show. Now, what exactly is gonna happen here is, I'm trying to recreate uh, the atmosphere of a real con. Um, actually, I've been to a few cons like this where I'm sitting at my table on a Sunday afternoon, but let's just pretend I'm, I'm being, th the, the throngs are pressing against the table. And I put the table behind me this year because I wanted it more like a real con experience. I guess, I guess in reality, the con would be in, or the table would be in front of me and I would be behind the table, but then I'd be too far away from the computer. So it just got confusing. So I did it this way. So anyway, welcome to Aaron Con 2021. We're going to be drawing. I've got limited edition prints. I got huge announcements. We've got an art sale scheduled for 6 30 this evening. I was going to do it early today, but I thought I'm going to wait till there's more people here so that more people can get in on it. It's not, I'm sorry, did I say auction? It's not an auction, it's a sale. We're gonna put them up for sale, first come, first serve. That's the way we're gonna do it. Uh, so that'll be at 6.30 tonight. I also wanna make an announcement that if you're unaware that Walter and Wheezy Simonson, well, Louise, Wheezy to her friends, I'm a friend, they're gonna be on the show tomorrow. I'm starting off at 12 uh, Pacific, which is three o'clock Eastern last time I checked. And they're gonna be the first right out of the gate because he said, Aaron, we should do it in the afternoon because the lighting is better in my studio. Who am I to argue with the legend that is Walter Simonson? So the lighting's better in his studio. We're doing it at three o'clock Eastern, noon Pacific tomorrow. So hopefully that's not too early for some of you, but you're really gonna wanna turn in for, turn in, uh, for that. Um, and then of course I have David Williams closing the show out with me Sunday at five. I am working on somebody named, uh, Terry Dodson to try and get him in here Saturday evening, afternoon. If he doesn't after the Simonsons, if he doesn't, then, um, well, I, maybe I'll have a fallback plan. We'll see. But one thing's going to happen. You're going to be seeing a lot of drawing and a lot of stuff going on. So, uh, I think I've stalled long enough. Let's get rocking and rolling. Um, first of all, let me show you the table. Let me get out of the way. Yeah, there it is. See, I got portfolios here. I got a stack of art right here. I've got some recent trades and a James Bond limited edition comic over there. Um, sketchbooks right there. We'll be doing those. All you have to do is request one. I'll do it live. You can request it and say, Aaron, I want a sketchbook and I want uh, Doc Savage in the sketchbook. I'll do it live right here. So those are available. And of course, all the prints. And of course, the Justice League print, which I've been teasing, which we'll get to in a minute. So let's take a close up look at this table uh, because, you know, you, you feel like you're too far away. It's like too many people in front of you. You can't get to my table. There's just so many people. So I'm going to take you closer uh, by way of technology. And let's call this switching the camera, which I just did. How about that? Okay, let's take a look at the prints I have for sale. Uh, the always popular Warrior in Repose. I have 150 signed and numbered limited edition on that. Uh, next to that, we have the uh, Warrior Nouveau, which is hugely popular print. Uh, that's also, um, now this is into the open edition because I sold out of the uh, signed and numbered limited edition prints. And... Uh, so I made an open edition so that, you know, people that didn't get one of the signed and number ones, you can still get it. It'll still be signed. It just isn't numbered. And then the less than popular uh, Captain's Corey, which should be more popular, which is Captain America and uh, a multiplicity of villains. And then, of course, the legendary and popular girl power print. Uh, that is Wonder Woman sitting on Superman. 
Then we go down here to the not as popular as I would like Jaws print. And then the sometimes popular, sometimes completely forgotten uh, Coral Princess print. And then the print that it's not as popular as it should be, but it does okay. That's the Star Wars princesses, princess says print. And then, of course, the always popular Rosie Riveteer, We Can Do It. I actually sold the original art to that in Chicago uh, the first month of the, just for the pandemic hit in 2020. So uh, that's available. And then, of course, the practically forgotten uh, 1946 San Diego print that features uh, Lana Turner as Supergirl in a swimsuit there, 1940 swimsuit. Maybe that's why it's not as popular. Um, but anyway, and then let's go down here. As you can see, I have the uh, James Bond cover. This came out. This is a uh, variant. I was going to say limited edition. It's not limited. It's variant. These go for, these will go for, I'll sign these and they're $10 a piece. I have these Justice League Galaxy of Terrors. If you didn't read my run on Justice League, this sort of has the, uh, the space opera aliens saga in there. And um, these normally uh, sell for 17 bucks. I'll sell it to you for $10. And that's signed. How about that? Now I've got a, just a couple of these dark multiverse paperbacks. These suckers are thick, huge books. This, of course, has my... Uh, one of the better stories I've ever done. Um, let me, maybe if I put that in front of the camera, that would be helpful. Uh, but it's got all the dark multiverse stories in it. And my Infinite Crisis dark multiverse story in here. There it is, someplace. Yeah, yeah Superman and people getting killed. Spoiler. Uh, anyway, this normally goes for 25 bucks. I'm going to make it available to you just for 15 and that will be signed as well. So those are some of the options you have. And I will scroll this information in a minute after we get through visiting the table. I'm going to move the camera over here in a very sort of earthquakey kind of move. Now, this is the cover to a, this is the cover to a Swedish comic that has not come out yet. A sci-fi uh, thing that I wrote and illustrated and did the cover for and um, I'll, I'll show you that on screen a little bit uh, later here. Um, I did uh, a, a cover for Eric uh, Niekowski. I hope I pronounced that right. He's got a uh, Indiegogo project um, called um, something. Gosh darn it, it just escaped me. But anyway, I did an alternate cover for him or a variant. Got that. Uh, this is, of course, the original art to my shield uh number one variant cover that rob liefeld was doing and i was only partially doing and i don't know what the story is there but anyway this should i don't have any copies yet unfortunately but this should be out this month and again we'll take a look at the color version here in a minute this of course is my variant cover to i think there's a lot of variants uh this is a variant cover to uh graham nolan's alien alamo that i did for him and then i've got and here's the thing. I've got stacks and stacks of pages. Uh, this is Wonder Woman. Although it's Wonder Woman as a teenage girl. Oh, that's not Wonder Woman as a teenage girl. See, I do have some good Wonder Woman pages left. This was the last Wonder Woman story I did. And this was out, I believe this is from the digital comic, the online comic. So those are inks by Matt Ryan. And so there's Wonder Woman. And there's Wonder Woman's mom when Wonder Woman was just a, a wee lass. Uh, and there's Wonder Woman... Was a wee last. Now, there was a, a matching splash page of Wonder Woman for this, but of course, uh, that already sold. So. And that's a Wonder Woman page that doesn't have Wonder Woman on it. Boy, do I have one of those. Uh, there's got a little Wonder Woman action there. So, if any of these pages are of interest to you, or you'd like to, uh, you know, let me see if I can find some more. Most of these are Hippolyta, I must admit. Now, there's that's kind of a nice page. That's um, Wonder Woman and Amelia Earhart. Wonder Woman as a kid and um, the Pollocks are there sort of hanging with Amelia Earhart. Um, what I do have that's really nice, though, we still have a lot of that's really nice, are these Justice League pages. Um, 
these all range in anywhere from 250 to 350 these uh, panel pages but some of them it's pretty nice pages um, so these are available yeah, there's a really kind of a nice Batman page right there. Uh, a lot of nice Batman and Wonder Woman pages in this Justice League uh, run that I did this of course has nobody on it um, oh that's a good one So like if you see any page again if you see any pages that are like of great interest to you you may uh message me or email me or whatever and i'll give you that information in a little bit it is double page spread if you will i better back up back the camera up this is so huge look at that that's got superman green lantern wonder woman in her space mask uh, the flash That's a killer page. It's a double page spread. That's available. I'm not giving it away, but it's available. Um, so yeah, I've got a lot of like, nice panel art. And of course we could uh, spend all day going through this. Um, and maybe I will, but there's just a ton of stuff. So if you have the Justice League books, the issues I did, and you're thinking, man, I want to get a page. Now is the time. Um, Of course, they got these all messed up. You know. This is the kind of stuff you would see at my table. Of course, you'd be able to take your time and flip through it and look through it if you were actually at the show. Um, and uh, I better jump in the comments here real quick and just see who's here because holy crap, we got a lot of comments. Um, let's see here. Well, Rodney, calm down. There's no bidding. You just have to be quick to type in that you want it once it goes up for sale, which is even sometimes worse than bidding. Um, <laughs> okay. Josh Olive is here for the good times, and uh, they are just starting. Um, and Josh Olive, ooh, announcements. Now I'm excited all over again. Oh, there's announcements coming. Uh, I got a fan blowing in the background. It's going to be like 107 today. Hopefully it'll be a little cooler up here. We do have AC, but it never gets upstairs, right? It cools it down. The is great. All right, everybody, check this out now. If Johnny Fitz, it's his birthday today. So I think it's important that we all take a moment and sing happy birthday to Johnny Fitz. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Johnny. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Woo! You got to imagine, Johnny, that everyone's doing that right now. So it's really loud and the crowd's going wild. So thanks for joining us on your birthday. Um, hyper potato, he always wants something, and that's good. I want you to want stuff. Um, yeah, see, now Johnny's really loving it because we just sang him happy birthday. Uh, print prices, I'm getting there, James. I'm getting there. Um, leg kicks joining us. Leg kick is always here, leg kick is everywhere. My plan is to keep cool. Uh, yeah, it looks very Stranko. It's supposed to be because it's basically a, a Stranko homage ripoff, so it better look Stranko-ish. Bill Maxwell's jumping in. He's got the shield representing. Awesome. Thank you. Hyper Kaiju is here. That I'm going to give you ordering instructions in just a minute. Um, Johnny Fitch. I want how much? I'm not sure that I'm selling it, so I'm hanging on to it for the time being. It's just there for looks. Um, it is a great Hulk. It's a, the classic Stranko Hulk shirt right there. 
I figured I'd better wear a con shirt if I was going to do this, right? Stephen Ng is here. I wanted to make sure I said hi to him. Uh, you know, Dave Thomas comes in and says, I love your art. And when you say stuff like that, there's only one appropriate response. And actually, there's one other thing I wanted to do. When I, inter when I introduced the show, I, I should have done this, and I didn't, but now I'm thinking about it. So I'm going to say, welcome to Aaron. Yeah, <laughs> I've been wanting to use that for like 20 years. Okay, so there we are. Um, all right, so I've addressed the board. And this is true. I want Hyper Kaiju. He's right there. You're not going to get this kind of quality entertainment anywhere else, folks. Nowhere else except right here. So anyway, let's take a look at what else we've got. Okay, now this is kind of, oh, let me switch cameras. Got ahead of myself. I'm so excited. Okay. All right, back to the table. So, you're all wondering, gee, Aaron, what's in here? <laughs> well, you have to come back at 6.30 to find out. This is like, there's nine pieces of color art in here and stacked up over there. They're going to go up for sale at 6.30 tonight. Now, look, I still have Wonder Woman Conan pages. That's a killer page right there, although Wonder Woman's got her face kind of covered up with her arm. But a nice big Conan piece there for a shot of Conan down there. Um, yeah, let's pull back just a little bit here. You know, I do have um, I do have controls. Ah, there we go. So anyway, you can see I have some quality pages left. These are all in that 250 to 350 range, all these pages. There's a nice one with Wonder Woman there. That's like a $300 page right there. Well, that's $350 and I'm fighting. And I also want to make note, all these pages that you're seeing here, they're all listed on my Comic Art Fans Gallery with prices, so you can go there and uh, check those out if you want to get like a, a good view of everything that I have that's available and what the prices are. Uh, they're all listed there on Comic Art Fans in my gallery, so you can go there and check that out. I've got my older stuff is on my web page, of course, but the new stuff or the newer stuff, uh, the last you know four or five projects I did are up on Comic Art Fans. So there's just you know it's all sorts of good stuff, and I've got now this Wonder Woman Swamp Thing and Damage. I got stacks of Damage pages, which shouldn't be a surprise to anybody. Um, here's some more. The last two stories I worked on in Wonder Woman were like hers and Little Girl, and I'm kind of like, man, why don't I get the stories where she's actually an adult? But uh, a lot of Hippolyta, a lot of teen Wonder Woman stuff. That's a double page spread. It's, I'll pull it out. It doesn't have Wonder Woman on it. Um, come on, baby. Uh, it doesn't have Wonder Woman on it. Oh, I see what I did. As an adult, it just says Wonder Woman as a young teenager. But, you know, it's cheaper because of that. So, I don't even know what I got price for. Oh, okay, oh, wow. Show's falling apart five minutes in. All right. Sorry about that. Oh, it goes right here. <laughs> see, it's transparent. I couldn't see it. Um, all right. So, and some more throne room stuff with some. Oh, you see, here's the cool. I got some cool Swamp Thing pages left. Here in the Swamp Thing. That's a really great panel right there. And uh, that big old Swamp Thing close-up. That's a $200 page. This one's a $400 page, but it's freaking awesome, so that's why. Look at that big shots of uh, Swamp Thing all the way around. I, I did more of the Bernie Wrightson version of Swamp Thing as opposed to the really sort of leafy vegetable uh, version. This is a really nice page, too. really like how the ink's turned out on that mic. 
Isn't that like the dumbest thing to say? Look at this page, and oh my gosh, the inks on that leg are so nice. But they are. Matt Ryan ate that. Of course, I placed the blacks there for the ink, but still, he did a wonderful job. Um, I'm going to have a little Justice League cameo here with Wonder Woman in the uh, Swamp Thing. Look, there's another big old close up of Swamp Thing. So, you know, I've got like uh, some cool stuff still available. All right. Now, this is, this is all Infinite Crisis stuff, and I've still got just a buttload of this. That's a double pager. Um, you know, Blue Beetle, Maxwell Lord, Brother Eye. Ooh, there's a nice Batman page right there. Uh, you know, Justice League page action over here. That's a dead Lex Luthor. Ooh, there's Superboy frying some dude, or frying young Lex Luthor, spoiler alert. Uh, Kingdom Come uh, Superman over here, or old Superman from Earth 16 or something. Um, Superboy, some Teen Titans stuff right there. Blue Beetle kicking butt. Ooh, there's a big splash. Ooh, look at all that stuff! She's here, Shelly Showtime has arrived. The show has just begun. Nice. So, yeah, I got a couple of splashes still in there and some good old stuff. And, ooh, got tons of Aquaman pages. Why is that one? No, but there's uh, there is him and his. It's very fishy. We don't know why. Beautiful wife. And, uh, oh, these are good. This, this is uh, Aquaman with a beard and mutant fish. Can't get much better than that. Mm -mm. Those big shots of Aquaman. I've got quality in here. I'm telling you. People. Quality. You need to bring that chair over, huh? Yeah, you're gonna have to wait just one second. Okay. Um, what do I got in cover art? I still have Herculoid still do available. Do your Herculoid sound. Do it. Do it. That's a Gleep and Glop. One of those two. Look, I still have a Wonder Woman Conan cover. No way. I do. Wait. Oh, damage Annual. That was the first damage I did. <laughs> the first damage I did. Look at that. Damage versus Superman versus Dead Man with the Justice League all pummeled. Super. Uh, Look at what this. The, what the? That's, that's uh, I almost said sludge. That's damage eating Fang Fang Foom. You don't see that very often. Look at that. Cover to um, uh, okay. Legends of Tomorrow, number one. That's, uh, that's Firestorm. That's oh, that okay? This featured my uh, um, metamorpho story that I wrote and drew. Oh, look at you, though. Oh, yeah. Total control. I still have a few amethyst covers left, which no. were. Oh yeah, I do. I have uh, these two. This one's a wraparound with the clip, so. No way. Yes. Wait, look at. I have two. Oh, I, love I have two one. Wonder Woman covers sitting here. Unbelievable. They have not sold yet, but there they are. Probably because I'm asking a million dollars a piece for them. You think that's too much? No. Medium. Um, no, actually, this one's twelve hundred. This one's fifteen. So you know they're not cheap, but compared to other people, they're cheap. Um. Look at Archie's from 1955, although Shelly doesn't want me to sell this because that's her daughter right there. Oh, you're not selling that oh, one. Oh, yeah, it's not for That sale. one is a million. No. And then there's a Reggie, number one variant. Uh, look at that Superman cover that never got used. Ooh, that one makes it really special. Yeah. <laughs> mm. uh, that was for a 100-page giant that it never got used. And then there's uh, Death of Hawkman 1. Death of Hawkman 4, Death of Hawkman 5 with Hawk Why Girl. He's dying? he's dying all over the place. The original to Lana Turner as Supergirl. The original to uh, Captain America, Captain Print. Ooh, Patriot, where's that comic? It's... I did this for Steve Orlando. This is for Aftershock. That was another cover I did. Um, Where'd you put it? A variant, I don't know. Uh, it's probably in there someplace. I've got the original art to the uh, Little Mermaid, or the Big Mermaid. Look, here's another Wonder Woman cover that never got used. It's because they keep changing their mind about what was going to be in the issue. A little bit. Um, Ninjack, look at that. Toy Fair Magazine. I got some uh, I got Turox. I'm telling you, I've got stuff. stuff and here it stuff. is. Um, so... Seriously, if you're interested in anything like that, feel free to contact me about it. You can't obviously uh, 
I can't get into every single price and every single thing on the show Shelly because we're, we're here yeah we're here for the excitement of art and I don't mean art to bear although he is exciting he is exciting well in kind of an old-fashioned kind of way All he's right, an so older gentleman I don't know patreon project oh, patreon yeah okay well, I'm back in front of the camera there okay let's see what's happening here okay whoo there's Shelly Ready to go? Here. Everybody is Zane. here. You won't get this kind of okay. Zane's let's Zelensky. see. In a while. See, I gave them an Aaron Con, and they I got here. a little, got a nice little like. Yeah, here's Project Patreon, the variant cover I did. Now, unfortunately, this got scoot. The image got scooted down because they wanted all of his head, and I figured some of it might be covered up, but. I guess the logo was bigger than I anticipated. So all these guys know the bottom got cut off. It's there in the original art, but basically they just kind of shifted the whole image down like that. So yeah, what are you going to do? Um, so I got a few of those available. If you're into that, that's from. Uh, you're into that kind of thing. If you're into that kind of thing. Uh, Ken Carson here, and I can't believe I missed the commission list. Ugh, I know, Ken. That's so embarrassing. There'll be uh, another one. There's always another one. <laughs> that's right. Uh, let's yeah, see. This chair won't go through there. I'll bring it. Your other one? Zane, all the stuff I never bring to shows is in those drawers over there. Like, you know, mystic, mystic pages, sludge pages. I mean, seriously. Uh, if there's some vintage stuff that you want, contact me. What's or even just message me and go, Heron, show us your mystic stuff or show me the sludge, you know, and we'll, uh, we'll see what we can do. I mean, I'm going to be on for like hours and hours and hours, so we have to find oh. something to do. <laughs> that might be a little fall. <laughs> Uh oh okay but zane i am the arch the art sale i keep wanting to say auction but it isn't the art sale is going to be um tonight at uh 6 30. oh it is it is and uh, maybe i should do an auction but yeah it's too it gets too crazy and too confusing um ba -ba -ba, let's see i'm looking for pages that include wonder woman or batgirl I oh. just showed you a bunch, Michael. Did go. I not just show you? I don't have any Batgirl pages, but I do have a ton of Wonder Woman pages. That's one. A ton of them in Justice League and other places. Trusty Sidekick is here. We've been waiting for the Trusty Sidekick oh to actually That's start so the long. show. So Waited. thank you. Hello, Trusty Sidekick. Appreciate it. Um, ba -ba. Hyper Potato. Always count on Hyper Potato. Uh, the covers, Dustin, actually might be, or probably on my website. It's just the interior pages are not cut up. Most of the covers, I think, are on my website. Johnny. Except here. for the brand new ones. Hey, happy aren't. birthday, Johnny. Yes, we. I sang happy birthday to him. You oh, you did it. Did. Oh, you have a good singing voice, too. You're yeah. lucky I didn't sing because Mama don't sing. Look at this. Oh, wait, you have sludge pages? Yes, Josh, what? I have sludge pages. I don't Josh, have a ton, what? but I still have yeah. a decent amount. He's yeah. back, and he's laughing hard, Ladies and we love to see it. See, look at he he recognizes them, the show. Oh, yeah. The show when the chili shows up, the show starts. What well, constitutes vintage? Um, Bert. Uh, old. Yeah. Us. I think I think I have Death of Hawkman pages listed on my website, and anything newer than that is on CFA galleries or it hasn't been listed yet. Like I have Herculoids pages. Which do your should be a, do it. I already did it. I know. Do it again. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank Thank you. Big A, Stevie. Thank you very much for joining. And uh, oh, well, Where I blew you? it. I was looking for my applause. Oh, there it is. Oh. Thank you very much. Thank you. And those of you who just just dropped in, I want you to know that you. have Come aboard for Aaron. <laughs> I'm going to do that like a hundred times in the show oh, until I drive you all away. Uh, let's see. Steve Patterson, my oh. uh, best friend from high school and my favorite attorney at law. And our uh, best man. And our best man at, our, at our wedding is here. Thank you, Steve, for uh, dropping by. He must be on his lunch break. He's, a, he's like a big CEO now. So I guess oh, he can take yeah, a lunch break whenever he wants to. True, but he is right. Mr. Important that is. now. So he's like, don't bother me. I'm on a lunch break, yeah. and then I can watch I'm our show. Counting my millions. That's right. 
Uh, Hi, Rodney. Rodney says hi to Shelly because it's important that we not forget Shelly Showtime. When I bring her on, she needs to be recognized. Okay, so that's the table. Awesome. The prints. Someone asked mm. earlier about the prints. Let me let me put the roll the print banner. Um, but the prints. Where are they? Oh, probably up. No. Are you kidding me? I don't have a print banner. How is that even possible? How's that possible? I don't know. <clears throat> well, anyway, this is how you get in touch with me. And here's here's the deal on the prints. All these prints. All, all of them, them. Every, single every single one of them, one. It's fifteen dollars a piece, mm -hmm. and they come signed or signed and numbered, depending if there's a couple open editions up there, as I pointed out. Um, those are all available for fifteen bucks, five dollars shipping. Um, I'll, I can I can fit three into a tube. So if you buy more than three, then you, it's you another five, it's another five bucks. So, but anyway. So, what was your favorite one to do? Um. Mm. Which one did I flat? I don't remember. Probably I most flatted. of them. The Captain America one was, I had a lot of fun doing that. Where's the flying pigs? I'm sold out. Oh, that was the one I did. Oh. Thank you, Steve. We greatly appreciate it. Steve. And we love you too. And we uh, we talk about you often. We don't usually say nice things, but we do talk about you. So I just wanted to. that, but we still talk about you. I just wanted you. to know that. Uh, and, um, just write a random number yeah. on the open edition. <laughs> Pi. <laughs> there it is. The number E. Yeah, this is Josh. Uh, Josh getting in there with his uh, comedy act. <laughs> and um, those of you who are have never come to this show before, this is, this is pretty much it <laughs> all the time. <laughs> Ta -da! So uh, you're probably asking yourself, why don't I tune in this more often? And that's why I think it's important. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry. What? I'm getting ahead of myself. Oh. Clear the board first. Okay. Then go to this. Did you hear me do this? No, 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 no. Oh, that's, for the, that's for the art stuff. show. That's for the art, that's, that's for the art sale. Um, yeah, so, okay, so here's the deal. What you do that's is. You go to my uh, PayPal, which is right there. Pay scrolling. You're, it's, you're pointing, it's, they can't see the I, screen. I know, Aaron. but I'm pointing to the scroll. Down. Yeah. To the, uh, the scroll. The scroll. So Aaron at AaronLopresti.com is my email. AaronLopresti.com is my website. And my PayPal address no, is? Aaron Lopresti. <laughs> is Aaron at AaronLopresti.com. So you go to PayPal yes. and you. Sorry. Okay. So <laughs> she's getting ahead of it. She's ruining the show. I had it laid out. Sorry. Forget it. Turn it off. I'm going home. No, <laughs> okay. I am home. So what you do is you go to PayPal and you pay me money. Let's oh. say you want to print. Okay. So then you, you, you send me 20 bucks, right? And then you put in the little description there for Captain America print. For Shelly. For oh. Captain America print. Um, and, and then you make sure your address is in there someplace. So then I can open up PayPal and I say, oh. Oh, he wants the Captain America print, and this is where I send it. And I can just I can put it in the tube and get it mailed out the next day. Too if bad you, we don't have a tube. You put it in the tube, and it goes. Whoosh. Also, if I put it in the tube, then put the tube in the tube, and yes. then like, whoosh, that's a great idea. That'd be great. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Anyway, a tube for the tube. So anyway, that's basically how you order anything. Okay. If you want a sketchbook, that's how you order a sketchbook. You can't put that in a tube though. No, you can't. That no. comes in a box. Yeah. And uh, so if you, you could get a box and a tube, right? The, the original art's a little more tricky because a bigger box, yeah. Well, you kind of you know, I can't show you every single page I own, but you can ask me about it, you can contact me, you can go to my CFA gallery, and you can get information that way. And then email me for shipping and handling information. I don't really charge for handling, even though I do handle it a lot, I don't charge for that. It's just for that's the shipping, free. just for the shipping. Yeah, the handling is absolutely free. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh, oh my getting, gosh! It's warming here. Oh, ooh, James See, Bond. Johnny gets the idea. Wait a minute, that's not right. <laughs> Wait a minute, that's not right. <laughs> oh, almost, oh. Uh, oh. Question about James Bond. Do you have multiple versions of your cover or just one? I know Dynamite did at least two versions. That's ooh. it. That's the one with the dress on. And that's all I can so say about that. That's all we're saying about that part. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, so uh, <laughs> but those are available ten bucks a piece. <laughs> Do you these, mind about handling? Again, <laughs> I these, mark these trades. 
ten dollars. The really super big dark multiverse, <laughs> fifteen bucks. I've only got a couple of them, uh, so you know, first come, first serve. So yep. Well, uh, Josh, it's funny that you say that because I, Mama needs a new pair of shoes. Wow, I wish my wife had handled me for free. Two pairs should be isn't, delivered today. <laughs> isn't that isn't that the way we all? <laughs> potato <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> okay so here's the deal so how many white claws so, is shelly had already <laughs> wait a minute she just got up i don't know i'm kidding okay so i've been up since two three let mm -hmm. me do this if i may mm -hmm. may i mm -hmm. okay the first big announcement of the day <gasps> what if i can find the right thing okay i teased this in social media what is it here it is oh, oh i gotta i gotta lose the scroll for a minute it's distracting. It is. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait, get my head out of there. This, I had tons of people saying, make a print of this, make a print of this. This was a commission I did for Jason Mazar in Australia. And actually, I don't even think the original art is to him yet. Um, <laughs> sometime this year. Yeah, sometime this year. But I have put together this print. Now, this is, this is 14 and a quarter by 18 and a half. So it's almost full size as an actual double page spread. It's a little bit smaller. This is $30 post paid. But here's the deal. If you want this, you can only get it this weekend. Sunday midnight, it's done. Okay. So is it a limited edition? Yes, it is. But you guys determine how many there are. If I get 100 orders, then it's limited to 100. If I get 20 orders, it's limited to 20. If I get five orders, it's limited to five. Okay, how do you order this? It's very simple. You send me money. <laughs> so, I mean, can I make it any easier for you guys? Um, let's go back to this. What you would do is you would go to PayPal and you would send me $30 and you'd say, for Justice League print and make sure your address is on there. So that I can mail it to you, and then of course you'd want to pay me. Would you handle it for free? I would handle. I'll handle it for free, and I will package this. And they're not even at the printers yet because I have to find out how many they're going to be printed. But I will have them by mid week next week, and they will ship immediately out. So if you want one of these, there's your instructions. You go to PayPal at which is Aaron at AaronLaPresti.com. Send me thirty bucks. Tell me why you're sending me the money. Make sure your address is on there, and you are in. And these will come signed and numbered, and the edition closes Sunday at midnight. We will wow. revisit this as we Better go along. Better tell all your friends because that's, yeah. Right. So we will revisit this as we go along because nice. people come and go and they don't, you know, get to see everything. Yeah. So anyway, that's the print. That's the prints I have available. That's what's happening. We'll take nice. a look at again later on. But right now. What are you going to do right now? Well, right now we're going to share. I, I came prepared for snacks. Yes. Now, these, these are not just. I got a dented can, but they were both the cans they had left were dented. But oh, well. so anyway, these are the uh, honey roasted, not just. Mmm, mm. these are good, and Ooh, I guess they're not. They're, they're, <laughs> I'd like to suggest that they're healthy, but they're probably aren't. Um, but they're more healthy than just like can't straight up candy, right? Probably healthier uh -huh. than those. Nope. Now. Mm. You know, some chemicals. There you go. No, this is chemical free. This is Jacqueline Bigfoot eats this crap. Ah, <laughs> he does. Wait, I'm not gonna go there. Okay, <laughs> it's not Bigfoot crap. <laughs> Bigfoot eats this crap, and um, according to the TV commercials, so this is this is pure meat. <laughs> Let's <laughs> moving on. Moving on. So that's got to be good for you. And then I got these because it. look at. Look at they're a hundred percent whole grain. That must mean they're good for you. Now I'll this is you know. yeah. These these I don't like the fig newtons, but I do like the strawberry ones. And this is triple berry. So I don't know strawberry ones are good. I don't know what snacks you guys brought, but this is what I'll be. Um, you know, we always oh, must have snacks mm -hmm. and white claw. Part of, uh, but it's a little early for the white claw. No, well, but it's five o'clock somewhere in the. When world. we get into our, like our tenth hour, Shelly will be. Rah, rah, rah. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe. Oh, maybe I'm not kidding. Let's see. Um, Snacks. Mm, so good. Let's see. Relatively really been healthy. Okay. These have been on sale every time I go to Safeway. Yeah. And so I keep buying them, but man, I'm not booked on. Mm -hmm. Aaron Louvier. There was something Aaron right asked on. earlier. He's definitely thinking that Captain America print because of um, Modon. 
Not a big old Modoc head on no, there. No, keep going. Keep going. Oh, yeah. No, we already did the James Bond stuff. Mark Kessler. Hey, oh, Mark, maybe. thanks for squeezing in. Um, uh, too much information about hand yeah. <laughs> Mm. Well, what's funny is how many white claws have I had already? This is me, no white claws. No. That's what's scary. Here you go, Josh. Well, I said I got two pairs of shoes coming today. No. There it is. How many how many white claws does Shelly have already? This is, a... this is me unaided. You'll never tell. Uh, Any Ooh. Ken. The only thing I have less than Wonder Woman is Planet Hulk. They are completely gone. Unless you want like a meek page or something. I have nothing with a Hulk on it. A meat page? <laughs> what? Meek. The little oh, bug guy. Oh, my bad. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, I'm just saying Aaron 20 can go a long way for girls. Let that one go, too. <laughs> Damn my walker. Oh, my gosh. We didn't even got the show's barely started and I've already beaten the crap out of everybody. Oh, I was gonna try to keep track of who got the most, but um dinner. Oh, I forgot it's not. Oh, now this is an interesting question. You know, it's a James Bond comic, the dark multiverse trade. That will go into a, a box, so that's five bucks. And then the the you want two of the JLA prints. Those will go into a tube. That's another five bucks. So you ten dollars for shipping. Well, if you're so, not sure, we can always send you an invoice. So, but I'd rather not because it takes too much time. I'll do it. So ten for James Bond, fifteen for the Dark Multiverse. That's twenty five, and two just JLA prints, thirty a piece. Well, no, it's only five dollars. They're twenty five a piece plus five dollars shipping. So that's fifty five for those. What did I say? Twenty five, thirty, fifty five. That's eighty five dollars total. Just round it up to 100. Check, yeah. <laughs> for Shelly, of for course. For three, for 50. Right. I wouldn't do it. She'd take the extra money. Ah. Uh, uh, um, oops, sorry. Bert is skipping the snacks and going right to dinner. So, well, I, I there's, you know, there's something wow, you said for Johnny that. Johnny came prepared. Marvel splashes are cover. Not for sale. Mm. I got them, but I ain't selling them, Ken. Sorry. Uh, at least the ones I have, I'm left. I'm not selling. Right. It's been a while since. And I haven't done anything for yeah. Marvel in like eleven years. So, um, okay. So what's next on the list? We did snacks. Oh. Mm. Now this is how the sketchbooks work. Uh, oh. If I can be so bold. Who could who could explain the sketchbooks? Well, well you know, I I even got I even got like a picture. That's even better. Nice. So this is this is head in there. this is raw imagination. Twenty years of sketches uh, by me, with pictures drawn by me from books that I drew pictures in, and uh, by, me. by me. And these books are. Let's switch the banner, shall we? Snacks. Shelly's going Snacks. for the almonds. Uh, so these books are twenty five dollars a piece, signed and numbered, limited edition, seven hundred and fifty. But you can get a sketch inside, a headshot, okay, and no likenesses. Don't go, Aaron, can you draw uh, um, Wilford, Albert Einstein. Wilford Brimley from The Thing? <laughs> no. Okay, just like characters. Um, and so those are $20 extra for that. So that's $45 with a head, a head sketch inside or just $25 without, $5 shipping. Again, you go to PayPal. You drop the money in there. You say, Aaron, for a sketchbook with Wilford Brimley inside. And I say, no. And then you come back and say, okay, how about the Wolverine instead? And I say, yes. And then you give me your address in there. And then I, I do the sketch. I put it in the book and I or put it in a box and I ship it out. Right out the mailing tube. Mm -hmm. But it won't fit because it's a box. Darn it. So, but here's the great thing about these sketchbooks. If you want one, you just, just go in the comment section and go, Aaron, I want one. I want Wolverine in it. Draw it now, and I'll do it right now. Oh my gosh! Right in front of everybody. Yes, that's pretty. So cool. So that's the beauty of that. That's pretty cool. Okay, so those those are available all weekend. Oh, long buffalo as well. wings! And, oh well, man! Actually, they're 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 available people all the time. People are ready. All. Sorry, time. I disappointed some people with my um, meat meat controversy. Well, did you even watch that movie? Mm -mm. Well, that would explain it. Nope. Then. 
if you haven't seen it, then how could you? Mm, that's true. Oh, have oh. I uh, have I I've mentioned that you all are here enjoying Four. Aaron? Thank you, thank you for coming. I appreciate it. It is 2021, and this is the big Aaron Con of the mm -hmm. year. And uh, oh, obviously, yeah, don't forget the free handling. All the, <laughs> we have nothing but free handling around here. And this is this is the biggest show of the year, and uh, it's proof that Shelly actually came by to participate. She knows well, it's gonna be here. big. Oh, that's true. She was just walking by, and I grabbed her and handled her and made handled her, sit her down. for free. I handled her for free and had her sit down. And uh, normally to charge him. Usually <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it cost me a lot, but uh, there you go. Free oh my gosh! That's going to be our new slogan. You know, we're going to do a T-shirt with your picture on it, and it's free handling. You'll be going. <laughs> With my teacher saying, normally I charge him. Okay. All right. Okay. We've got a lot of people here. So I'm going to make hmm. sketchbook with Planet Hulk, man. Get it. Where? Right there. It was on the screen there. Okay. So, James, go pay me right now, though. Don't James fake me. Work. Don't Going fake big. me. I'll do it in just a second. Uh, <laughs> okay. Johnny is uh, feeling a little bit, uh, a little bit fresh today, mm -hmm. as they say. And that's what you get. Yeah. Um, free handling meat and nuts for snacks. <laughs> oh, inappropriate. All right, James, sending it right now. So oh. I'm going to start drawing in just a minute. But we're not done with. Uh... Did I ever say it's hot in here? Woo! It's not too bad. Okay, so the, the big question, a lot of people, oh, you know what? Right. I forgot to do this. Oh, no. I was supposed to do this before I showed you the print. Oh. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I was oh. supposed to show you this. And see, I spent all that time making remember. that thing, and I didn't even use it. But anyway, so I'll, I'll use it next time, though, because I'm going to, you know, yeah. every time I show that, we have to do the con exclusive. Um, but now, how about this? Wow. Okay, so what am I working on? So um, this is, wait, should I? And I, I guess I, I'm going to announce it now, and then I'm going to announce sure? it later tonight. All right. Well, what if there's people here that can't be here tonight? This is a two-segment show. That's true. So, All okay. Right. <clears throat> All right. You guys, hear it Not here a, but, first. That's right. But we're going to do this first. So, okay. this should be out this month. And I'm quite proud. I haven't read, the, I don't know what's inside, but I am quite proud of the cover. It's one of the better covers I've ever done in my life. And I colored it as well. I penciled, inked it, and colored it. And I just think it turned out really well. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, I would encourage you guys to pick that up. Um, <clears throat> So that that's coming out, of course. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this, of course, we've seen on some of the previous shows. Uh, Shelly's getting ready to laugh because I know there was a Did joke. You, you well, that, was, that? Yeah, was the one she asked if I drew that or not, and then uh, got a little rough in here. Uh, <laughs> then there was the free handling was over at that point. Then I got uh, mm. got a little rough. You anyway, almost wore that one. This is for a Swedish anthology sci-fi comic, and I don't know the name of it, and I don't know what's coming out. I just contacted the publisher. And he's like, oh, I'll get back to you on that. And I'm like, oh, so I don't know. He wants me to promote it, but it's like, would you just scooch out of the way? Yeah. Um, he wants me to promote it, but I, <laughs> I have no information. You're so promoting it right now. Right. So if you guys, you know, as soon as I know something, I'll of course be posting as I do more Aaron lives because we do them all the time, uh, especially on Sunday nights for the big show. So <clears throat> that's coming up. And remember, that's I, I had that cover back here. You did? And you saw it in black and white. And, uh, you know, there you have it. So this is what it looks like colored in black and white, if that makes any sense at all. I'm so confused. Yeah. Tonal, tonally rendered? How's that? Ooh. Okay. Big so arguments. now, okay, there's two huge announcements. This is oh like this is like the second to biggest announcement. Would that be right? The second to the first biggest announcement? The runner-up. The runner-up. If, the, the, if the, <clears throat> the first one can't. Fulfill his duties. Right. This would be, this is this. Okay. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay. Bring it. Yeah. Yo! Baby. 
you guys for years, and that is not an exaggeration, have been wondering when yeah. the heck is this coming out? It finally is. I can finally talk about it. I can finally mm -hmm. pump it up. I can finally push it. This is Aaron Lopresti's, you can see it says right there on the cover, Aaron Lopresti's yeah. Garbage Man uh, by Lopresti, Ryan, Kaliz, and McKeg. That's Aaron Lopresti, penciled, mm -hmm. written, penciled, and inked by me. Uh, Matt Ryan inked it, of course. John Kaliz and um, Dave McKeg did the colors. Dave actually colored this cover image here. Um, it was done in two separate miniseries at DC 10 years ago. And uh, Dave McKay colored the first miniseries, John Kalise colored the second, but John also came in, and here's the bonus. Uh -oh. If you're sitting there going, why should, I, why should I buy this trade paperback when I already have the comics? Because there's like 20 pages of new material in here. I had to get Batman out of this book because it's no longer owned by DC, it's owned by me. So I had to get Batman out of there. So what did I do? I took Batman out and introduced an all new super team. This is like their first appearance is in this trade paperback. Okay, number one. Yes. Or zero. Ooh. I'm just saying. She's just saying. So I can't, I'm not gonna tell you the name of the team. You can go find out for yourself. But this book is now available for order. You can get it on Amazon, you can get it through your comic shop. It's coming out in November. It's the all 12 parts to the Garbage Man Saga, Garbage Man Saga, and uh, it is, it's it's out, and there it is, and it's Dark Horse, so any questions concerning this, let me know, I can talk about it freely now. So that was that was the other thing I wanted to share with you. Now, oh, oh I, gosh. should I do it? I, I'm, I've just been, the anticipation, all right, here it comes. I can take it. Everybody has been asking me for, oh, wait a minute. Oh, everybody has been, <laughs> Everybody has been asking me for literally years. Oh, wait a minute. I got to use this hand. Literally years. What about a creator owned book, Aaron? When do you, I mean, this obviously Garbage Man is a creator owned book, but what about a new crowdfunded creator owned book? What is happening? When are you going to do it? Uh, how does this look? Ladies and gentlemen, let me present to you the cover to the first issue of Wraith of God. This is a uh, um, Batman of the Old West, if you will, hunting monsters, werewolves in this particular story. This is a 70-page, maybe 72-page graphic novel. And because I added a prologue to it that I think helps set things up a little bit better. And so the page count went like this. And anyway, this is penciled and inked and colored, this cover is, by me. Now the other big announcement is, I've got a guy by the name of Terry Dodson <clears throat> who's gonna do a variant cover. <clears throat> and I got another guy named Aaron Lopresti who's doing another variant cover nice. in a 70s style. And that's all I'll say right now until you can see it, but you'll get a kick out of it when you see that. Now this is going to go, um, um, I've gotta get a, a, a video made um, and then of this, and then it's gonna go up on uh, Indiegogo for uh, the preview page, what do you call it? The um, sign up page, and that'll be up there through July. And then this sucker's gonna launch in August, and it's gonna be huge, gigantic. We're gonna have, Enormous. we're gonna have, <clears throat> and you can see my little, uh, the comic label up here, Empire Comics. Yeah, we're building an empire, folks, and this is the first step. So, There'll be t-shirts. Oh, I want one. There'll be limited edition stuff that goes with it, <laughs> along with three stuff variants. And swag. What about how does this sound? How about a sticker set of all of all the Empire Comics characters? The Empire Comics would be all low presti verse characters in a sticker set. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I like that. So anyway, there it is, folks. I've been talking about doing something. Yeah, I I've am doing it. And there it is. So we'll be talking about this like for the next several weeks and I'll let you know when the uh, preview page launches. And I'm actually gonna, if you guys, those of you who are adverse to Indiegogo, I saw gonna, also gonna go on Kickstarter later. No stone will be left unturned. We'll get this out to everybody who wants it and then people who don't. And um, it's gonna be a beautiful thing. Wait, so there you have it. Um, there'll be more when I get more, but It'll be coming soon, and I'll keep you guys updated uh, throughout the Aaron Live shows and on everybody else's show because I'll be pimping this thing quite a bit. 
Um, and it does come with uh, free handling. So, <laughs> and there you have it. There's that's my big announcements. And I think those are good. I think those are big, big announcements. Yeah, you had a lot of comments. We got to go back. Oh, let's see. Have mercy on my wallet. Let's that's see. awesome. Who's that? Who's that publisher for for Garbage Man? It's Dark Horse. For me, it's me. Um, yeah, I know. Look at that. Now, as long as Terry doesn't flake on me, he can't because I announced it now, so he can't flake out on me. Um, yeah, see, there's a shout out for Terry. Oh, uh, yeah, what's the name of the publisher for Wraith of God? Uh, me. Cold Crocodile Press actually is the publisher. That again is um, me. <laughs> um, see that right there? Cold Croc. It will be a crowdfunded uh, Indiegogo Kickstarter event, um, but I'll be publishing it and distributing it. And there you go. And I'll try and figure out some kind of deal for my uh, um, my store owner friends that want to carry the book. So don't don't worry about that. We'll get you covered. These animations. PayPal says you're cold crocodile press. That is correct, James. That's exactly yeah. who I am. Is Shield actually coming out? Click that up on the. Oh, sorry. Um, that's an excellent question, and the the answer to that question is yes, it is coming out. Um, a writer was brought in to finish it for Rob. I think all the pencils were done. I think it was just scripting and inking. So somebody came in, and I, I can't remember the the guy's name that's doing it. But if you check the Archie uh, website, they'll have that information. And I think it's. There's a lot of um, release information about that floating out there on the inter interweb as well. Um, um, thank you, Hyper Kaiju. Uh, can't wait to pick that up in my local comic shop. I don't know which one you're talking about, but hopefully all of them. Yeah. Um, get Stephen Blood and the Wraith of God variant, dude. Loves Westerns. Uh, my, uh, my variants are already full. Thank you very much, though. I appreciate the... Uh, uh, I haven't talked to Stephen Butler in ages. My goodness. Maybe for the next um, one. Are you shipping abroad? Mm, yeah, I, I one oops. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 there it is. Are you shipping abroad? Um, I ship several broads, but uh, that's a different show. <laughs> and they're handled for free. And they're handled for free. <laughs> uh, but that's a different show. Yeah, I, I will be shipping. I'll have international shipping on that as well. Oh, wait a minute. Are you talking about just stuff today? Yes, if you're talking about just stuff today, yes, I am. But you're going to have to get with me on the shipping later because that's um, it depends on where you're at and all that kind of stuff. So anything, if you wanted to order oh, that gosh, print, for yeah. example, right? And you said, well, I couldn't order it, Aaron, because I didn't know what the shipping was. I'll let it slide and you, you take care of you it. You can always send us an email. Yeah, send me an email this send weekend an and I'll, I'll get it whatever. taken care of right before this weekend is over. Uh, anything you want, just let me know and I'll figure out the shipping for you and let you know. All right, so let's look back. Uh, Chuck says, where's the con suite? I need snacks. Hey, Tom. Um, oh, good thing, because we were just waiting. Oh, You've been stalling this whole yeah, time. Yeah, I know. Well, now that uh, Mike Miller's here, I guess it's time to say, welcome to Aaron. Aaron. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> um, oh, my gosh. Two hours sent, but someone needs to check my net math on the second. Good thing I have a math degree. Oh, I'll take goodness. care of that for you. You know, you should get your other computer up and check the PayPal stuff coming Ooh, in so that I can, I can uh, do that. If I need to draw anything, I can draw it. And that's what you we're going to do right now. Oh. These are not my skinny days anymore. Okay. Okay. I can do that one, but it's pretty slow. Mm. Good, fresh water. Okay. So what am I going to do? I'm going to draw in a sketchbook, and I'm doing a uh, well, – I can't remember. James, what did you want? Oh, Planet Hulk. Oh, just listen. Let me switch, uh, switch the old camera around. Oh, that's Shelly's butt. Uh, not quite. Oh, that's her – would have been my restuses. There you go. <laughs> Free handling coming up. Okay. Oh, you need that, um, this is me without white claws. I need that drawing board underneath all the snacks. 
You are a mess, little Presty. Hey, I cleaned this place up and I filled every single one of my pens. What's every... your comic book about werewolves? That would be Wraith of God. Did you just miss it? Or what are you asking me, Vic? What's your comic about werewolves? What's your comic about werewolves? Is he asking us? Like I, think, we're well, I don't know. You are. Um, okay. Wraith of God is about this. Uh, oh, I don't sorry, give, Mark. I don't want to give away too. <laughs> Can we not look at my legs today? Oh my goodness. I got the uh, zooming in. Zooming in. Oh, you put the, put there in. I got it. All right. Look at a new subscriber. How about that? Nice. <laughs> this was the day to do it. Oh, oh my, my gosh. Goodness. All right. So we'll get in there close. Yep. Yep. As long as my feet don't show. Yeah, the feet there. jokes will start all over. Let's again. not. All right. What are we. Okay. Wraith of God is a. Uh, monster horror superhero western and um the wraith is this character who um oh, i don't want to give away too much um he believes that uh god spoke to him and told him to hunt down all these this evil in the world which is basically turns out to be monsters werewolves vampires and all this kind of stuff he has a female helper that he um well, without giving too much away, enlisted her aid from he was a Salvation Army worker, and she becomes his Alfred, and they hunt monsters across the uh, the West. And this particular one, they're hunting these werewolves, and it's really kind of a. I'm looking at Shelley, and she looks like she's very intent on my story. Mm -hmm. It's really kind of a who done it because you don't really know who the werewolves are, oh. and we gotta find out who they are, and it's just things happen and stuff stuff people die and it's uh, clean eastwood Action is in it packed. it is and it's uh, but it has a really um um mm. as we say not necessarily a strong moral but there's a real heart to the story that Aww. you know it's not just uh shoot them up although there's plenty of that so but really what they want to know is what characters are in the shelly verse the only character I know of that's in the Shelley verse is Sweet Potato Pie. That's true. <laughs> and we did those of it, those of you who remember Chicks from my uh, Studio Source days, um, an image comic, and uh, we came up with a, the sequel, which was the Chicks that Time Forgot. And so then we just started this running joke around the studio was we just came coming up with more Chicks names like Iron Ann and. Uh, um, <laughs> one of the ones I came up with was Joan of Arkansas. And Shelly said, and her sidekick should be sweet potato pie. <laughs> and there goes the family viewing again. So anyway. Oh, man. Uh, yep. It's, it's so like packed. The, it's like the Charlie Sheen Wraith racing movie. No, but not exactly like that. So packed. Chip a tooth. Yes. All right, I'm sorry. I gotta draw. I gotta yeah, draw. Would you draw ball. already? All right, I'm sorry. We're telling stories, and <sighs> yeah, we'll get some the list for sale. See, I told you. List for sale of what? Like everything, list or just I should sell the video description so newcomers can check them out. I will type something up. That's what I do. What? You should list some of the items for sale in the video description so that newcomers can check them out. All the stuff that you went through. I got it. I'm well, we're going to go back and revisit. That's the thing. You just keep, we keep revisiting. It's a live con. What do you want me to do? Some people are visual learners. They need to see it, not just hear it. Oh, yeah. The drawing on the back, of the, the grill on the back of the book. That is. That's my daughter. Yeah. Fighting. Well, our daughter's not the gorilla. No. Let's get that clear. Um, down. Oh, I'm, in the, I'm going the wrong way. Yeah. See that? Yeah. That's Samantha probably around kindergarten or first grade fighting a gorilla dude. For the children's book we have uh, yet to do. Yeah, that's still in the works. By in the All works, right, I Mark. Mean it's have my, a good day. Okay, check back in at 6.30. I know that's what you're waiting for. Yes, Tom. See, Tom agrees with me. What? One of those visual people. Mm. I'm also a visual learner and a visual teacher. So there you go. 
You're welcome, James. I'm not quite sure. I remember, I did that to check the math. I don't know. I'm so confused. So what did what else did James order besides this? Um, oh, it was check the math. But you said there was two orders. I. Sorry. Why are you on Amazon? <laughs> Just be checking I, that PayPal. was more, the last thing I looked. Holy oh, smoke. that was the. She's already spending the the <laughs> PayPal money that I haven't even got <laughs> no, yet. No, that was the two pair of shoes I ordered. Oh my gosh. There we go. Oh, how old is she now? Um, our Sammy is 19 and a half now. Yes. She just finished her first year in college as a digital design and animation major. She is her father. Better looking though. She's so sweet. Oh my gosh. Well, not to you really. No, but to everybody else. And that's really all you care about as long as your kids yeah. behave when they leave the house. I want you guys to notice also that um, I put all my pens in a jar, which I think is pretty, it's pretty special, pretty organized of me. Um, wait a minute. Okay. Oh, James wants a bunch of prints. Okay. If you want to trade shoe money for art, I mean, <laughs> I what? know. Well, I, I've been wearing the same pair of black Birkenstocks. Hey, forever. I've been known to trade so art. I had for, to get some more, although been, I got off brand. I've been known to trade art for old comics, so and that that is Ooh. not an ex exaggeration. Good question. No, not sure. No, no they would have. A no, that's end of discussion. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, no. No. I can't do that. All caps. Okay. Holy cow. All right. Come on. Where did all that money come from? Oh, no, no. Go up, go up, go up. That's just recent payments. Go all the way up to the top. Yeah, there. That's what just came in. Oh. So Rodney sent me money. That must be for a sketchbook. James Burke. I got, I got him. So okay, Kirk there. would have been the first one. So what did he order? We're going to throw <laughs> hands. <laughs> There's going to be some. We might uh, need to take a station break. Oh, uh, we're going to have um, some free kind of rough handling here in a minute. <laughs> uh, it ain't going to be free either. <laughs> Need a piece of cake for him. Um, oh, duh! So. For a smart girl, I'm not very bright. Now I do have eight commissions that I've got to do as well. Well, you better uh, stop talking. <laughs> this might go all night tonight. I I don't know what's oh, going to happen you, tonight. When you said uh, that the evening would be four thirty or whatever, I was like, yeah, right. In my head, of course. Although I just said it right now. That's what I said. What? Sammy should be a guest artist. She does work at 515. But she has Saturdays off. Because she has rehearsals. She's in a... I don't know if we call it semi-professional dance company. Thing. So they have yes. rehearsals on Saturday mornings. Um, yeah, yeah, I will get, I'll get her on. Is what we call her. I'll, I'll get her on if she'll come on. Yeah. More hair. More hair. What does that mean? Not for me. I have enough for about 10 people. Um, I don't really know what that means. Mm -hmm. I think we're caught up though. That's a beautiful thing. Sorry about the yeah, not really family viewing today. So how warm is it where you guys are? It's gonna be a million degrees here. Although give or take. I did order oh yeah, Sammy has more hair. Although she did chop it off. It's now shorter than mine. But it used to be down to like her waist. Our little pretty girl. I mean, she's still pretty. It's just shorter hair. 
Yeah, wet and muggy. Ugh. 23 Celsius. That's not cold, is it? No, see. 23 Celsius can't. It's not too bad, right? I don't know. So I know like in the zero 30s, degrees is 32 degrees. Well, I know in the 30s is like brutal for Celsius, isn't it? Well, he's just said well, it's supposed too. to be 111, 114 tomorrow here. No, 107, I think. Oh, <clears throat> I, I think, think it's that high. I think you're high. Can you hang on my phone, please? You were going to tell me what the uh, Kirk was. Okay. I know. Well, you just. I did order because you guys have heard me. Um, oh, it's only 75. Oh, that's not bad. Um, complain about how hot it is in the studio. All right, so Saturday here it's going to be 106. Sunday 113. Oh my! Monday gosh. 111. Are you freaking kidding me? What is this, Phoenix? Yeah. The and then the 90s all through next week. So I ordered two room portable room air conditioners because our AC unit's not big enough to handle our house. Apparently, they should get here at the latest Tuesday. Right when the heat is over. Right. So we'll all be hoping that. This says anywhere from tomorrow and Tuesday. Oh, Lord is right. And the studio is always like 10 degrees hotter, I think, than the rest of the house. Yeah, it's, it's well, I have the lights on all the time. That's why. Yeah. I was hoping to get one of the commissions done before our break today. See, that's the other thing I need to make an announcement to people that are paying attention. Um, we're going to break at 4.30, and then I'm going to come back on at 5.30-ish. And then um, then we're just going to go. So uh, there'll be a, a slight break in the action, and then uh, we'll be back on and um, look out. Also, did I announce that uh, Walter and Wheezy Simonson will be joining us tomorrow at noon? Uh, 3 Eastern, noon Pacific time, and that's pretty exciting stuff. Oh, yeah. So you're not going to want to miss that. And if you're saying, but it's Saturday, I want to go do something fun. What more fun could you have than watching me interview Walter and Louise Simonson? I just, I can't think of anything. Mm-mm. Amazing. Okay, what do you got for me? Well, we've got. This is Hyper Potato, I believe. James Bond signed, one Dark Multiverse signed, and two GLA prints signed. Got it. All right, so that's nothing I have to draw right now. Wait. I don't know. Smells. It's making me crazy. All right. Oh, you know, I think you're on now. Uh, what's this? Yeah. That pen is on the tablet and it's screwing things up. Do we take a poll? Jeff's in the house. Take a poll. Oh, wait. When Aaron starts sweating all over his drawings. It doesn't Aaron, happen. No, I mean, Aaron doesn't sweat very much. You yeah. don't want me drawn because I sweat a lot. But he doesn't sweat because he wears socks. <laughs> don't, don't even start with me. Um, Long story. Sorry. I think she's funny. Oh. Uh, All right. So oh, Rodney. That's Where's nice. Oh, nice hole. one. How about that? I'm skipping Albert through the Comic Con to attend virtually Aaron Con to get sketchbooks. Wow. That's so nice. Thank you, Rodney. I wish I was at Albuquerque Comic Con. I want to go to a Comic Con. I haven't been to a Comic Con in a year and a half. Seriously. Well, folks, you know what time it is. Time to open up the old bat book and find out what number this is. Do I have any other sketchbooks ordered? This was James Burke, right? 
um, sketchbook with Planet Hulk. Yep. Sorry. There we go. Ooh, it's number 280. Planet Hulk. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Do we have any other sketchbooks ordered, Shelly, at this time? Um, let's see. Um. <laughs> mm. Ooh, pizza. Mm, I was pizza. looking out here for oh, you, know you guys can hey, if put in for a sketchbook on comments too. If um If we're at a con, technically we should be eating like a slice of pizza for like eight bucks right now. Seriously. Or a turkey sandwich that's been prepared a week ago for mm -hmm. like ten dollars. Mm -hmm. So three hundred and four to go. Yep. I got you, Rodney. You're so the Rodney's next one. Rodney's next? Yeah. What did, what does Rodney want? Well, let's see. I'll tell you what Aaron wants. Aaron wants some Jack Link's beef jerky because Messing with Sasquatch. Sasquatch eats it. So it's got it. There's my werewolf arms. Mmm. Donna Troy. Jack Links. Mmm. Nummy. Rodney wants Donna Troy. Oh, you know what? I figured if I brought it up during this heat, it'd keep it soft, which it has. Nice. Mm hmm. Josh also says, I was unaware of the science behind sweat and socks. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, forget it. I'm not going to get into it. <laughs> Science for another show. I'll, I'll handle Shelly later. <laughs> uh, hey, mm. Chuck says it's uh, he's in Hueytown, Alabama. It's 90 degrees. This is my knee, by the way. Hueytown. Oh. Is there a Louie Town? Huey, Dewey, and okay. How did we miss this? But it's Saturday. I want to go do something fun. I got something fun for you, Jeff. <laughs> well, I think it's time to remind everybody that you're here for Aaron. And we'd like to welcome you all and thank you for joining us. What am I doing right now? Well, that's a good question. I'm sitting here with a board because I can't reach the sketchbook. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, there we go. So Rodney wants uh, some chick. Who do you want? Donna Troy. <laughs> Donna Troy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good thing Lady Celtic Moon isn't here. She'd be mad at me probably for saying that. All right. Um... Okay. Before I start this, let's go back and revisit for our new viewers who just dropped in. Yeah, baby, I'm offering this this weekend only. This is the uh, Justice League print that I have called Power in Numbers. Get it? Because there's like a lot of them. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. And funny. Uh, this was actually a commission I did for Jason Mazar uh, from Australia. And um, he gave me the okay to go ahead and offer it up as a print to all of you. And that's exactly what I'm doing. But the catch is it's only available this weekend. Once this weekend is over, that means midnight Sunday night, you cannot order this print from me ever again. So if you want one, get it now. It's $30. And that includes postage. So basically, it's $25 plus $5 postage. And you're saying, Aaron, how do I order? Well, let me tell you. You go to PayPal, which is Aaron at AaronLapresti.com, scrolling at the bottom of the page right now. And uh, you send me 30 bucks. And then you put in a little description that you want the Justice League print. And then you make sure your address is attached to that PayPal account. And then you know what? 
I can sign it. I can roll it up. I can put it in the tube. I can give you free handling. Mash it up and put it in a stew. Put it in a stew and, <laughs> and then uh, ship it off to you. If your address isn't on there, I don't know who to ship it to. And then I got to contact you. Then I wait for you to get back to me. And then I got to wait to the post office again. People. And I get mad. So just pay me. Tell me what it's for. And tell me where to send it. And what to do with it. No, don't tell me that. So That's my job. That's right. So there it is. And this is a 14 and a quarter by 18 and a half print. Okay. So it's almost regular double page spread size. And uh, the number... Well, that's decided on by you. However many are ordered this weekend, that'll be the print run number. And uh, so it'll be signed, numbered as a limited edition print. So if you want one of these, that's how you get one. And we will revisit this again later, of course, because it's all about selling. All right, but right now, right now, Shelly, I'm gonna draw. Yeah. I'm gonna draw. Some chick. Some chick named Donna Troy. Awesome. So remind me, how much are prints? You know, it's funny you should ask. Yeah? They're $15. The regular color prints that are yeah. up there, let's take a quick look. We have, sorry, Warrior in Repose. Looks strangely like Wonder Woman. Mm -hmm. We have... Warrior Nouveau looks strangely like, like Wonder, Wonder Woman. Woman. We have the very unpopular, but should be very popular, Captain's Quarry, Captain America and his rogues gallery of villains, including the Red Skull, Nightshade, Lady um, uh, um, um, Hydra. Me? Okay. Um, of course, the politically incorrect Yellow Claw, Batroc the Leaper, Baron Zemo, and Modoc. Then, of course, the extremely classic and popular girl power print. Oh, look. There's Kit Carter hiding back there. Mm -hmm. uh, the very unpopular Jaws print, which should be much popular than, much more popular than mm -hmm. it is, but it's an old movie, so maybe. We, I have that, had a poster of that in my classroom. Yeah. Uh, I do, not anymore. Actually, I do have a couple 24 by 36s of this available, mm -hmm. like two for 40 bucks. For those of you who must have a movie poster-sized Jaws or an Will Presti original. Well, original print, not original art. Right. My son owns the original art. Um, that would be the Coral Princess. That would be the Star Wars Princesses. That would be, oops, sorry. We Can Do It with Rosie the Riveteer. And that would be Lana Turner as Supergirl in my San Diego 1946 print. Yeah. Which you can't see because no one ever buys it, so I... I'm not pushing it as hard as I should. So anyway, there you go. Those are all fifteen dollars a piece plus five dollars shipping. Again, you send me the PayPal. Tell me why you're sending me the money and where to send the print, and you'll get it. But was it there like you put more than one in? A that tube? is absolutely correct. I can get three in a tube, so you can okay. order three prints for five dollars shipping. If you go over three prints, it's another five bucks. So because I have to ship it in a separate tube. So, so I can check go. some math. When I order, yes, I got I, you, James. When I order them, I call them Wonder Woman with a sword. I was, I was so with you. I got you. Wait a minute, isn't there two? One, or do you want both? Both Wonder, of them. Both Wonder Woman with a sword. Yes, because he wrote swords plural. Wow. Um, I got you. Thanks for that. Um, okay. <laughs> Is that for me? No, it's Brainiac. Looks like Epcot. Oh. Potatoes. Mm. So that's why I said mash up and put them in the studio. Oh, I see. Yeah. Uh, come book Bob. Thank you. That's very kind of you. I appreciate that. Bob. Oh, wait a minute. Didn't mean to hit that. Um, that's what we we're looking at. There we go. So I want to. Nice. I want to recognize those kind words. <laughs> Fabulous. Uh, okay, back to the comments. We go. True story. So my stepmom's brother is a guy who invented new math. <laughs> <laughs> True story. My stepmom's brother is the guy who invented new math. No way. He's been cursed so much. I have no problem. <laughs> isn't new math a joke, though? It's not really. No, a I think it's just, isn't it just a, it's a different way to look at it, which I look at the math differently than most textbooks. Now I teach it too. So, but, yeah. All right, so 
back to the drawing portion of our show. We're now going to draw some chick named um, Donna Troy. Go for it. So I'm going. Oh, Rodney, uh, Rodney had a question. Mm -hmm. He wanted to know the story behind. Um, do we have a, um, I need a Justice League trade paperback, volume one. See that top shelf underneath the dinosaurs? Those are all in alphabetical order starting at the left and working over oh, to the right. That's, oh, that's nice. So we need Justice League Volume One. It has like Booster Gold and it should be light blue. That's it. She just pulled it right out of the shelf. She handled it at well, no extra charge. Well, because I know my alphabet. All right. So here's the here's the thing. So Rodney said this character Godiva on the cover. Okay, here's the cover. Yeah. Um, this was originally a dark-haired character. And everybody was speculating that it was Donna Troy because this was the new 52 and they kind of restarted everything. Mm -hmm. I remember that. And so um, Donna Troy had not made an appearance in the uh, DCU in the new, as of the new 52. And everybody was speculating that was Donna Troy. Well, Dan DiDio did not want to use Donna Troy. Um, he wanted her to remain outside the DCU for, I can't remember why, but for some reason. And so he made us change that character that was on there into Godiva so the speculation would stop about it being Donna Troy, which it was not Donna Troy. And I told him, I said, Dan, I said, any publicity, even if people are being misled, but they're talking about it is a good thing. Let's leave her in the book. No, 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 no. Well, okay, that character was a character named Klepto, and it was a Dan Jurgens character that he created that I believe was in his Booster Gold series originally. Um, you'd have to ask Dan for sure, because I can't remember, but that's... Rodney wanted to know who that character was that was originally on there and why she was removed. And that is why she was removed. You might want to, what slide do you want to? Oh, you know what? This needs to go off. And that didn't help a bit. There you go. Yeah, right, yeah. Yeah. Every time I turn, just a slight angle. I hold my arms like this for the next three hours. I don't think it's, it's, it's all my angle here. So anyway, that's the story of the mm. mystery girl that was on. Uh, gotcha. You want me to go put it back? You may put it back. Thank you so much. Yeah, no, it's these lips. John Troy is much more smiley than that, I think. So James Burke, you are fine, my friend. Yeah, so anyway, um, we're also going to, we're trying to get, get him, ah, we're trying to get them to let us use Supergirl in uh, that Justice League International as well. They were very picky about who we would let in and who we wouldn't because they wanted it to have a very international flavor because it was, of course, Justice League International. Gotcha. <clears throat> so, um, but they, and we said, well, she's an alien, she's perfect. But for some reason, 
there was always there was always a reason why we couldn't do stuff that never really made a lot of sense to me. Um, but I thought it would help draw attention to the book, and uh, which we all wanted. And you know, I was like, come on. It'll help us sell the book. Why is that a bad thing? You know, she's not in her, she wasn't in her own book at the time. So I was like, why not use her? But Welcome, James. Pardon me, Aaron. Yes. Please do. James Bond signed it, Dark Multiverse signed. I just don't know. Oh, uh, 10 and 15. Okay. Okay, so everybody's good so far. The math checks out. The math. Thanks checks for that out. degree, Dad. And again, I'm going to sound like a broken record, but I want to remind everybody that tomorrow at noon, noon. Pacific, 3 o'clock Eastern Time, we will be joined by Walter Simonson along with Louise Simonson. Weezy! Affectionately known as Weezy. We've stayed at their house before. Yep. And uh, so that means we're kind of special. And uh, so That's they'll be sure. joining us, and um, I'll be grilling them like a 60 Minutes interview, so you don't want to miss that. And... Um, and then Sunday evening at about five o'clock, when we're on the last ten hours of the show, <laughs> David Williams will be closing this sucker down with me, and um, I'm sure that will be a night to remember. So, and I'm still working on some other people for Saturday evening, but it's hard to say at this point. You just said it. <clears throat> well, it's hard to say if I'll get them or not. Too. And if you're just joining me and haven't been sitting here for an hour and a half, and if you're just joining me and you have questions about stuff that might be for sale that maybe you missed or whatever, just blurt it out in the messages and I'll get you up to date on prints, how to order them, sketchbooks, original art, comics. Uh, we revisit those things about every 20 to 30 minutes. But, you know, if you're in between those and you have a question, please just jump right in. It's hard to list all the art. Yes. But if there's stuff you're interested in, give us a list and we can go back and because we only have, let's see. Or I would recommend most of the most of the good stuff, or the more contemporary good stuff, <clears throat> not the classic good stuff. If you want Mystic or Sludge or something of that nature, you would you could ask 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 me in the comment section right now and I will grab them. But um, if you're interested, say in Conan Wonder Woman or the Justice League or what few Wonder Woman pages I have left from the Wonder Woman stories I did, or the Herculoids, you can check um, my comic comic art fans gallery because oh, there <clears throat> they're all listed there with prices as well. There you go. Well, well, we'll we take, only uh, have, well, in, in your studio, there's 15 drawers of flat files. Yeah, I've got a lot of stuff. If our house ever catches fire, it's going to go up. Like, like if you were interested in Solomon Grundy pages, yeah, I've got some. If you were interested in, um, oh, let's just say Superboy and the Ravers, got some of those. Got some of those too. Got some. If you're interested in some old Ultraverse uh, art, I do have that as well. So we got, we got stuff. And so, if you want anything, send us. Thing on PayPal, comment on what you want. And we're good. Who created steel, Walter or his wife Louise? Wouldn't you like to know, Jerome? Why don't you show up tomorrow and maybe you'll find out? Yeah. Pardon. Oh. Excuse me. Like it. Yeah. You're kind of crammed in here. You know, Jerome, I'm going to write that down. Try and remember to ask them tomorrow. I've got a ton of questions for them, of course. It's going to kind of date back to each of their careers 
in the early 70s and then how they crossed paths at Marvel. Um, and of course, culminating with their partnership on uh, X Factor. Um, and then of course, we'll talk about uh, Walter's Ragnarok um, storyline he's been working on with, at, um, for IDW. Um, And I'll keep my eye on the comment section if people have questions like that one, for example, like uh, who invented um, steel, we'll take some of those questions as well. Um, so it should be good fun. I know I've got them for at least an hour. I don't know if they'll, how late they'll stay, but... Um, I always wonder when people want to get sketches, like headshots of characters that don't have masks. It's like, how do you, how do you know who it is? But I guess you know in your mind who it is, and that's all that matters. The little choker, I guess, you know, kind of gives gives it away for Donna Troy. And as you can see, these twenty dollars sketches you get in these uh, books are quite the deal. So. It's all, you know, to promote the book, the sketchbook, and get it out there. And so I'm willing to go the extra mile for you, my supporters out there, my patrons, my... Uh, so there we go. That would be my sketchbook version of Donna Troy's face. And Rodney just set a record. This is his sixth sketchbook. And no, actually, that ties the record because um, Sequential Artist has bought six as well. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, All right. Rodney has got his whole, an entire bookshelf dedicated. <sighs> dedicated to uh, my sketchbooks. And you can't help but appreciate that kind of dedication. All right, so there it is. It's number 281. And we'll close that up. And put it back here as being finished. All righty. Now, what's next? Well, okay. Now the uh, the heavy lifting begins. What time is it? 3.30. We've got one hour before break. So let me come up for air for a second. And... Um, Hey, there I am. Um, I think now after some oh some really tough drawing, it's a little bit of snack goes a long way. I think and we're going to take some of these delicious honey roasted almonds. Mmm, that's good stuff. And when you're in the wilderness of a convention, you got to you got to eat. Jack Lanks, don't you? All right. Mmm, tasty. It amazes me that I don't have any sponsorship, you know, for this show. Did you say sketch with the sketch of twenty-five dollars, Matt? <laughs> Matt, don't be foolish. Um.
they're you look at the scroll on the bottom, they're forty-five dollars with a sketch, or twenty-five without a sketch. They all come signed and numbered, but um, they're twenty-five signed and numbered, or they're forty-five with a sketch plus five dollars shipping, of course. Just to be clear. And you can get one by simply PayPaling me the money for whatever you'd like, telling me in the description of PayPal why you're sending me money, which is so important. And then the second most important thing is to make sure your address is on there so I can ship it to you. If you buy a sketchbook while I'm live, I'll draw on it like I just did. Both those sketches I just did were people that ordered books. So. There you have it. I want to take a quick look behind us again. These prints. These prints are all available. $15 a piece, $5 shipping. I will take three prints and put it in a tube so you can get three three prints for $5 shipping, basically. If you go beyond that, if you go, oh, Aaron, I got to have all nine. Well, then I have to put them in like three different tubes. So. Your max is three per mailing tube. So basically every three prints is $5 shipping. Look at that. Joe Bernardo. No, Joe, remind me. You're in Vegas, right? You're not in Hawaii. Isn't that right? But aloha anyway. You're a Hawaiian living in Vegas, as I recall. Oh, cinnamon graham crackers. Cinnamon graham crackers are awesome. The only problem with cinnamon graham crackers is you can't really put peanut butter on them. So I get the regular honey made, you know, graham crackers, and then I get the chocolate ones because those go with peanut butter. But the, the, um, the cinnamon ones, you have to kind of eat by themselves, which is fine because they're terrific. So who sent me a message? David Williams did, of course. All right. So I've got a list of sketches. Oh, wait a minute. But I had people signed up for it. And some people got on the list, some people didn't, and I apologize to those of you who did not get on the list. But I pay tribute to you with a, um, a triple Barry Newton. Hmm, good stuff. Okay, so. I was able to take eight for this show, and I have an over an overflow list, and if I can, we'll see how it goes. But like most cons, I'm already almost two hours into this con, and I haven't done one commission yet. So that's why they, um, that's why a lot of times, that's why I don't take a ton, because, you know, it's hard to get a bunch done. You're talking all the time, and I'm talking all the time. All right, so I have another one to one, but this is actually based on another Wonder Woman commission I did for somebody else. So I have to pull up my reference. Hmm, there it is. I think it's in here. I got folders on my desktop full of scans of commissions I've done. Just like in the last two years, it's unbelievable how many I've done. I mean, it's really unbelievable. All right, let's see. I think that's, yep, that's the outfit right there. All right. Mm -hmm. Yes, there's Joe giving me the explanation that we call Vegas the Ninth Island because there's so many Hawaiians here. Right now, I remember. Um, yeah, if you say that, James, I'm going to say this. God, come on now, you got to got to work harder than that. Oh my gosh. 
Piper Kaiju got a blizzard from Dairy Queen. Oops, did you just spill it? <laughs> Is that what the oops was? Oh. Wait a minute. Nature's Bakery Fig Bars are the best fig bars. That may be true, but these Newtons I'm eating are not Fig Newtons because I don't like the Fig Newtons. That mine are like triple berry Newtons. So I'm not going to argue Fig Newtons with you because I'm just, you know, I mean, I would eat them. If I was at your house and you said, Aaron, have some Fig Newtons, I wouldn't go, no, Joe, no, thank you. I would, you know, I'd have some, but um, they're not, if I'm out buying them, yeah, not top of my list. Oh, oh crap. I, how in the world? Okay, don't use this pencil sharpener. Apparently it's full. Um, I got a new one. Let's try this one out. Yes, I'm sketching with like a Ticonderoga number two grade school pencil from probably when I was in grade school. I think it works pretty well though. If I can get the stupid thing sharpened. Don't you love that? You just grind away and you pull it out. It's like a nub on the end. You're like, how, how did that not get sharp? Sorry. All right. Oh, I guess I'll switch camera down here so we can uh, watch me draw. That's kind of the point of the whole thing, isn't it? And we'll zoom out a bit. I already started this because um, I'm lazy. No, because what happened to my camera controls? Did I actually close my, I closed my camera controls back, so apparently. The, uh, the professionalism of this show is, is next level. There it is, okay. Let's zoom out a little bit. All right, so this is Wonder Woman, or will be. Now these are all gray marker sketches. I'm not doing any color this weekend. These are all the type of um, commissions I would do if I was actually at a convention. Now I may switch everything up and uh, maybe start doing color ones and you know at conventions and just doing those and charging more or something. I don't know. The problem is if you have too many options for people, then trying to keep everything price wise straight. Okay, well, can I do color nine by twelve or should I? What if I wanted color eleven by fourteen? What if I wanted? A character with a bird how much extra would that be you know and it's things like that and and those are actually sort of realistic scenarios that um i sort of have to deal with and it's you know, it's kind of like you it's much easier if you just say you know what single character no background no color is this price no additives no you know preservatives just uh and then you can and it's easier just to you know Rather than sit there and try and figure out, okay, well, the guy wants this, but he only wants it black and white. He doesn't want the markers. So should I charge him less? Should I charge him the same? It's just a pain. So I try to limit. Uh, did you know your body shapes with the mass more than doing the breakdowns, like in how to draw comics? Okay, this is an interesting question. In fact, because it is a question, yes. Do you set your body types with the mass more than doing the breakdowns like in How to Draw Comics from Marvel Way? Well, there's actually two ways that John Buscema shows in that book. One of them is doing kind of a stick figure and sort of working out from a stick stick, <laughs> stick figure. And then the other, of course, is sort of drawing, you know, kind of scribbling around and getting the shape. That's closer to what I do, is scribbling around getting the shape first. 
I almost never use the stick figure method. And the reason I don't is because I've been doing this so long that I don't really need to do a stick figure to get everything the right length or the right proportion. I, I really can eyeball it. Um, and so I can just actually start creating the shapes. That doesn't mean, you know, the first thing I, you know, the shape, first shape I come up with is dead on or, you know, it's perfect. I have to tweak it. But I've just gotten to a habit of sort of kind of like doing this and just sort of, you know, um, creating the shapes and then tweaking the shapes as I go to get it, you know, where I want it. Um, but everybody does it differently. But I always start with the head because you're gauging everything to the height of the character by the head. Okay. In fact, I don't know, is Johnny Fitz still here? Because he wanted some help with anatomy and I, um, I should take some time to discuss that. But I don't want to do it if he's no longer in the chat. So I'll wait and see. Johnny, if you're here, let me know. If you're not, let me know when you get back. And then we'll uh, try to address, address those questions. Um, but see, I haven't measured, you know, like how, how many heads tall Wonder Woman is. But I'll bet money that this drawing is anywhere between seven and eight heads tall. Let's take a look, shall we? See if I guessed right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, mm, seven and three quarters. See, I just, I can just tell by looking at it if it looks right or not. Now in real life, the head is much bigger than that. Um, but we really don't, it's funny how we don't compartmentalize the human figure when we're looking at it in photographs or especially if we're watching people in motion, you know, your maybe your, your eyes are fixated on their eyes or whatever, or, you know, uh, but you're not really kind of looking at the whole package and saying, man, unless it's really obnoxious, you've got a six, eight, six, eight guy that's just huge and has a really tiny head or, you know, um, a really short person with a really huge head or something like that that kind of, you know, uh, sticks out to you. But most of the time you're not really paying attention to that. Like if you look at Frazetta's drawings, a lot of his people, the proportions were actually really, really close to being right on the money. His characters always had bigger heads and smaller uh, torsos, which was actually closer to reality. It's this sort of... Um, you know, Kirby, John Buscema sort of superhero dynamics that were the, all that sort of changed. And so it was like there's realistic drawing and then there's superhero drawing, you know. And so we really got used to seeing superheroes look a certain way. You know, look how gigantic the Hulk has become from when, say, Kirby was drawn in back in the, you know, 60s. Or even, you know, Romita or Buscema even. Like, if you look at, you know, say, what, 71, I think, when uh, Fantasy Four One Twelve or the Hulk fought the thing. I mean, they're big, but they're not like... You know, the Hulk isn't like nine feet tall like he is, you know, now. Um, and it makes sense that he would be that big. But back then they were just, he was like basically the size of a human that got really beefed up. Um, so this whole anatomy, this, the way we look at anatomy um, through comic books has really changed over the years. And really, I, 
you know, I prefer the exaggeration because it is, in my opinion, a fantasy medium. So why can't the women be exaggerated? Why can't the men be exaggerated? Why these are heroic figures that are not lifelike. And I do sort of resent this idea that everything has been brought back, you know, all this grim, grim reality. You know, I got enough grim reality. I don't need to pick up a comic book and get more of it. Um, I prefer idealized characters that, you know, you can aspire to be great like rather than kind of drag them down to our level, you know. I mean, they're not perfect. The character shouldn't be perfect because then that's boring, but they should be striving to be heroic and not, you know. And because they have these great powers, they have the uh, ability to be greater heroes. And that's why we look up to them, or we did as kids. I mean, we don't, obviously, as adults, they're just, you know, fantasy entertainment vehicles. But, you know. You still recognize, I think, what they should be, what they should represent. Oh, that's about as serious as I'm going to get for a while. Sometimes these costumes. Right? The little details. Actually, this costume isn't bad. Um, All right, so we gotta do, gotta get a sword in our hand here as well. Try and make sure that the, the hilt of the sword is lined up with the sword. I'm gonna go get my point three, so we can work on this face. Uh, Don, my for this weekend everything is um, I'm full up. Other than I, I'm doing headshots and sketchbooks, that's the only thing. It's the only art that isn't already pre-drawn that you can uh, that you can get from me this weekend. Um, but see, that's what I was talking about. Um, you know, how much just for a pencil sketch? How much for if you just inked it? How much if you just markered it? it? There's too many options, and then I have to sit there and kind of figure out what's fair and what isn't fair. So I don't really even do that. Um, I mean, I don't do just pencil drawings like this for sketches uh, because they don't really have a price structure for it. Um, I do sell my, um, roughs and layouts occasionally. And those, of course, are all pencil, but they're not, they wouldn't obviously be a specific character that you were looking for. Oh, I'm sorry, I wanted to zoom in on that. Shelly has returned. Very nice. Oh, no. Need me to scoot up. There you go. Oh, that's good. Thank goodness for swivels. Yep. Um, do you think that the proportions they're doing now in the current comic books are showing the six heads high and downplaying the super and the hero? Um, I'd love to say. I'd love to have an answer for that, but I, 
I've read so few new comics recently that I don't know. I mean, I don't think so. I think stuff is more stylized now than it's ever been before. But, you know, but I think, again, it just depends on the artist. I mean, some people don't draw Superman very big and other people draw him huge. And uh, same thing with Batman. You know, there's sort of like the, the really thick Frank Miller version of Batman. And then there's the more lean Neil Adams version of Batman. And, um, it's hard to say. Print, just as they print. Did you get all the other comments? I've um, been keeping up pretty well. Okay. This was a pre-order dinner. Yep. He's got some treats though. You can hang on till 4.30. Yep. All right, so we're going to start inking this. Well, I'll, I'll get this inked before we uh, tap out for our break. Um, it seems way too early though, doesn't it? Only being on for two and a half hours and then... Seems like it just got started. Yeah. But we'll be back, and like I said, once I get back on tonight, who knows how long we'll go. I want to remind everybody that's here, if you haven't done this yet, please do this. Um, we're trying to get to a thousand. That's the goal. Uh, we're like 860 some or whatever. Um, so if, like I said, if you're new to this channel, you get a lot of this every time. Um, I usually do some drawing almost every show. In fact, I do do drawings every show. You do do. I do do. I do do drawings every show. Um, of course, there's a fair amount of irreverence, and we try to have as much fun as possible. And um, uh, so, I think it's it's worth it's worth checking out. And so, and even if you don't want to watch it, subscribe anyway because it helps me out. Yep. Good day uh, from Australia. There's Jason. Hey, you know what? I'm glad Jason's. Uh, well, okay. Let me do this first. John, I don't have them listed any place. Um, you can either email me at Aaron at AaronLapresti.com, message me at Facebook, message me at Twitter, whatever you're on, message me on Instagram, and I can give you the rundown on what uh, my home commission prices and options are. Thank you for your interest. I appreciate that. Okay, so Jason's here. Now, Jason, we know, is the guy that's responsible for this. Right here. Jason gave me the thumbs up to go ahead and produce this limited edition Justice League print. This was a commission I did for Jason. Jason, has it shown up yet? Um, and um, so I'm offering it this weekend only. It's 14 and a quarter by 18 and a half. So it's almost full size double page spread. And you yeah. can get these by. Let me uh, switch banners. Got to stay ahead of the action. You can get one of these by sending me $30. And that covers shipping if you're in the U.S. If you're outside the U.S., it's going to cost more than that. So please check with me. But um, this is uh, they're $25 a piece, $5 shipping in the U.S. Um, they're only available today, tomorrow, and Sunday. Sunday midnight, it closes. You cannot get these anymore. The print run will be determined by how many orders I get for them. If only 10 people order them, that's all there's going to be is 10. They'll be ultra rare. So um, <clears throat> it's up to you. But 
Don't come to me Tuesday or Mon Monday or Tuesday and say, hey, can I get one of those Just League sketches? No, because they'll already be at the printer. Um, so that's the deal on these, exclusive to this con only. And uh, we thank Jason Mazar for releasing his hold over his commission. And he hasn't even got it yet. Yeah, he doesn't even have it yet. Darn. So. Good morning, Winston. So anyway, that's that. That's that. That's that. That is that. And I mean it. That's that's that. Darn it. We can't make it any more clear. That's mm -hmm. that. We call it power in numbers because there's a lot of characters in there. I like it. So you just keep looking and you find another one. Yep, it's like a Where's Waldo. So Jason hasn't got it, not yet. No, that's what I said. He hasn't oh. got it yet. I'm telling you, getting stuff outside this country into Europe or other places during uh, COVID restrictions, uh, which are a lot tighter now overseas than they are here. And, and uh, it's just stuff sets in customs forever. So I apologize for that, but it is well, well, well packaged and it will get to you eventually. I had somebody sometime I, this year. No, a, I had ones I sent to Belgium that took over three months. Wow. to get there i mean it's absurd you, but you could have traveled here and picked it up yes exactly faster <clears throat> lewis is out the door but hey uh we'll be back yeah we'll be going tonight so be back. the show ends at 4 30 then starts up again at 5 30. that's pacific time um figure it out from where you're at uh winston knows He's in Singapore. He knows where he's at and what time it is. It's morning. He's rolled out of the sack. Um, all right. Let's get back to drawing. Get it. The Grinch is getting annoyed with me for taking so long to draw. Very impatient. He's not the only one. Oh, and let me say thank you for joining me at Aaron. <laughs> That just doesn't get old ever. No, it doesn't, does it? No, no it really doesn't. Logical. It is. It's very logical. So, oh, my goodness. Well, you know, getting me actually drawing again is getting so rare on this show that... And now for something completely different. Yeah, it's completely different. I'm going to draw. Shelly's really had it with me now. I'm well, taking... The mouse. No, what would, I'm what would Ethel Merman mouse. say? <laughs> I'm taking the mouse. You're grounded from the mouse. Oh, okay. Draw already. <laughs> You're welcome. So is that for somebody? This? Mm -hmm. This is for Ike. Ike. I like Ike. He was on earlier. I don't I'm know if he's good. still here. Oh, yeah. there he is. Ike appreciates the cutaways, and I'm drawing his uh, Wonder Woman one. I like it. Yeah, I have uh, more cutaways per capita than any other show on the internet, mm -hmm. I think. More every day. And I get in trouble by Facebook almost every single time I do it because I'm always dropping some little uh, tidbits of copyrighted information and uh, they catch me. But where's, I don't have time to go out and film my own gags. No. You got time for stuff like that. No time. I had big ambitions of doing it, but drawing took uh, precedent, shall we say. Mm -hmm. Because I know you're all anxiously awaiting the big color art sale. Starts at 6.30 tonight. At 6.30 Pacific time. They say 6.30 Pacific. 5.30 Central. Mm. Can you say that? Uh, television ads are always... Were they 8.30 Eastern? 6.30 Central tonight. I don't know, Mr. Announcer Voice. Yeah, Winston, this Wonder Woman is taken. But you know, there's another one right around the corner. <laughs> the 
with air and there's always another Wonder Woman. Yeah. No, the only stuff that, the only new sketching I'll be doing that isn't taken, well, that's not even true either, but I will, if somebody wants a sketchbook with a sketch headshot on the inside, I'll be doing those as requested on the show. But all the commissions I'm doing here are people that already got on the commission list and paid up and are uh, ready to rock and roll. And that's why I have the, I have nine pieces of color art that'll be going up for sale at 6.30 tonight, along with uh, sketch roughs from my uh, cover work and things will also be available at that time. So is Wonder Woman your most requested character for commissions, I think? Hmm, Matt, that's an excellent question. I would say if I had to click on Matt and Oh, bring I took up, the mouse, sorry. Because he was off on his little uh, request character for commission. Probably over the years, at least since I started drawing Wonder Woman back in uh, um help me out, Shelly, was it 2010? Um, I get a lot of Planet Hulks, and I've had a lot of um, Ms. Marvels because I was uh, I did Ms. Marvel as well, or I should say I drew Ms. Marvel as well, and um, I had you know fairly. Well, I shouldn't say lengthy runs, but I had I did several issues of different X Men comics over the years, and never, rarely do I get X Men requests, but I always get Ms. Marvel, Wonder Woman, and Planet Hulk, which I guess would be the three things that I would be best known for. So it makes sense. Who was the most fun character for you to draw? Um, I Jason, I really enjoy, I really enjoy drawing huge spreads of multiple Justice League characters fighting. No, actually, that's not. Um, <laughs> most character, most fun. You know, it's kind of fun. Uh, Doctor Strange, I kind of like. Um, I have to admit the women characters are super easy to draw because I draw them so much that, you know, just coming up with a nice figure and it, it's a really quick. Um, Spider-Man was always my favorite character growing up, but he's never really my favorite to draw for some reason. I love Captain America, and yet for some reason I have kind of a hard time getting my mind wrapped around Captain America. Batman as well. I really, Batman's tough for me as well, too, because I never, sometimes you're like, Batman has one expression, you know, he's like grim all the time, right? So it's like, if you draw him smiling or something, it just seems really bizarre and out of character for him. So I'm never really quite sure how to handle him. Uh, I really, developed um an affection for superman um since i got to draw him quite a bit in justice league i was supposed to take over superman after um i finished with justice league international but uh the story was so lame i wouldn't i wouldn't do it and uh that was when spider or superman walked Clark Kent walked across America or Superman walked across America. It was just, it's like, there's no way I'm going to get on Superman and that's going to be my run on Superman. I was like, no way I'm not doing it. So, which probably ended up screwing myself long-term because they put me on justice league, which was fine. And I really enjoyed that with Dan Jurgens, but they canceled it early because they had so many justice league titles and um, somebody up top didn't, like that particular Justice League title. So it got canceled. And because of the way the format was in the new 52, where every time a couple books got canceled, they would launch new ones. Well, obviously they launched all their best stuff first. And so the more you, you get going into stuff that getting canceled, the worse characters you got. 
And so that's how I ended up with Amethyst, and um, which of course didn't even make eight issues before it got canceled. Um, it was a really good book, and Christy Marks did a terrific job writing it, but just no one read it. And so I kind of got on this spiral down to working on, you know, less and less desirable books because, you know, someone on Superman or Super on, you know, any good book wasn't going to leave, so I could do it. Um, and if I had if I had taken that Superman job and and struggled through that ridiculous story arc, um, you know, I might have still so been on we Superman. Across America? Yes. Oh, I was guys out of the room. Sorry. Did you see these? Um, so, what's the most obscure? Which the most obscure character you've been requested to sketch other than the Orphan Sisters? <sighs> um. Well, the most obscure character was Nam Ek, who was a apparently a, like a Superman villain or something. That was the weirdest thing I'd ever drawn. And then more recently, I did um, uh, Madcap. You guys probably saw me post that commission online, where Madcap has Deadpool's head on a platter and it's like got cake frosting on it and everything. Oh. David Williams has made an appearance. David, right in time. Pretend. <laughs> she doesn't use swords anymore. No. Times change. She's got. She's gotten more civilized, right? And uh, doesn't come after you with the big, nice. big, big swords. But um, I'll give you a complimentary one because I like. It. <laughs> okay. Um. Don, Don sent me a message on Facebook for commission prices. You got it, Don. Thank you. I'll get to that uh, sometime this weekend. This is a very interesting question and one that I don't have a particular answer for. Um, my biggest hang up with Kit Carter was that the whole thing was, was a joke to begin with. Um, you know, the first stuff I did with Kit Carter were those prints, and they were all meant to be sort of like sci-fi 50s movies send-ups. And, you know, because the, the first print I did was Kit Carter versus the the, uh, the Astro Zombies, right? And so I never really had any story attached to the character. I just kept doing these, you know, prints. And actually the reason I first came up with her was because I needed a female character to put on the cover of one of my sketchbooks and I couldn't use, you know, Marvel or DC characters. So I came up with Kit Carter and the, the, the piece I was doing, the Astro Zombie piece uh, became too involved. And I was like, there's no way I'm ever gonna get this done in time um, for the cover of a sketchbook to get it to the printer and have it back in time for San Diego. So I ended up turning it into a print. Um, which I had more time to work on. And and then I just became a series of prints and then it just like it, she would show up here and there and all that kind of stuff. So it's not so much, it's not so much that, uh, everybody tells me they're interested in the character. Oh, I'd buy that, I'd buy that. But everybody says that, right? And then it's, you never know, uh, you know, you never know what kind of an audience you're gonna end up, what size of an audience you're gonna have for it. Um, but I think it would do well if I went ahead with it. Uh, why I haven't gone ahead with it was for the reason I just discussed was it's taking me it's taken me a long time to figure out who the character was what I really wanted to do with the character and what the point of the whole strip was going to be and what I started doing was if you guys go to my if you haven't been to my website go to my website and you go to my um, um, my blog page. And there's like, I think the last two Kit Carter strips in black and white are posted on there. Now the first seven were or six were done in color, but they were only accessible to people that bought a limited edition um, Kit Carter story print. And when you got the print, you got the key to unlock the, you know, the full color strips. And so, but I started doing I finally came to the conclusion that I should do them as a 
I'm sorry, I'm looking for a straight edge. I should do them as a newspaper, like an old time newspaper strip, like a Sunday, you know, Sunday morning strip. So I did them obviously in comic book page layout size because I knew that eventually if I reprinted them or did anything with them, it would be in the comic book format, not like a newspaper format. So um, I, but it made sense to me to kind of treat them as a, each episode, if you will, as a gag, right? Like a Sunday strip would have been, you know, we, we, you start off the story and it ends with a little bit of gag and then it's a, it's a larger continuity, but each episode's a joke, right? Or has a laugh to it. And that's kind of how, and, and that made sense to me, right? So I, I started being able to do those and they kind of fell into line. And as the joke goes, it practically wrote itself. And, but I realized that that's not a workable format long-term that if I was going to do something with it, it would have to be, in a comic book format. And so my goal was to finish, or my goal is to finish the first newspaper strip story arc, which was the uh, Zing the Zealous uh, story. And I think I still have three more to do. I have, well, I'm gonna take that back. One, two, three, uh, four, I think. And, and then I would, you know, then I'd use that as kind of a springboard to sort of uh, maybe launch a Kickstarter or something with the character. The other problem with Kit Carter is because it's sort of a humor strip, you can't really, it can't be part of a bigger universe. Because if you're, you know, if your other characters are serious comic book characters, then you can't, you know, put in this joke character uh, that doesn't really fit with the tonality of everything else you're doing. So it'd be really hard for me to cross her over into anything else. Um, you know, hypothetically, if my universe gets off the ground and as I'm hoping, so it'd be hard to incorporate her into that she might work with Atomic Toy Box, but even then that's pushing it. Because Atomic Toy Box, although it was a humor, I'm sorry, not Atomic Toy Box, um, Power Cubed, was a humorous book. It was set in kind of real world, and it just had some goofiness attached to it. Whereas Kit Carter is just complete, you know, slapstick almost. So... Um, those are the issues I deal with Kit Carter, but uh, she is in my plans because at least everybody's told me, oh, you got to do Kit Carter because that would be awesome. I'd love Kit Carter, you know. So we'll see. Um, have I ever created a He Man sketch? I have not, although I have been tempted. Like that'd be kind of fun. I mean, it was kind of like doing the Herculoid sort of seriously. Maybe you know, doing He-Man like that would be kind of fun, I think, as well. <clears throat> Let me take a minute uh, before we uh, we're getting close to closing out for the uh, uh, for the break, and uh, but let me do this really quickly. Um, because some of you have come in, and you're asking yourself. What is Aaron working on? Well, this should be out this month. Now, I didn't do the interiors. I just did um, I just did this variant cover, but I hope you guys go all go out and pick that variant cover up. It's one of the the better pieces I've done maybe my entire career. As simple as it is, it just I did the pencil inks and color on that, and I think it just turned out really, really well, and I'm very, very happy with it. So you'll find that in your local comic shop very soon if it's not there already. Uh, this I did a science fiction um, uh, for a Swedish publisher, a science fiction anthology book, and that's the cover for it. 
Uh, it's a black and white book, so he wanted the cover in black and white, which I thought, well, I'd do it in color. But he wanted it in black and white, and it actually turned out pretty cool. Um, and so I have a story in there that I wrote and drew that I th actually is pretty good. So, But I don't have any details about when that's going to be out and the format or anything else. So as soon as I get that, I will let you know, but I have been working on it. Uh, the other things I want to show you really quickly is I did an alternate cover for or variant cover for Project Patreon number one. This is um, Steve Orlando is the writer and creator of this. And this is through Aftershock. And um, this James Bond comic is out now that I did the cover for. I have, I have several copies of the James Bond cover that are available for 10 bucks a piece signed. Um, plus whatever the shipping is on it. Um, so, that, and I want to make a note of that this is out in case you guys were not aware. Dark Horse is publishing my Garbage Man collection. Um, the cool thing about this is, <clears throat> yes, it's a trade paperback, and yes, it's all the material that was published at DC 10 years ago, but there's like 20 pages of new material in there because I had to get rid of I had to get Batman was in the story and I had to take him out of the story uh, because obviously DC owns Batman. I do not, but I do own Garbage Man. So what did I do? I introduced a new super team. Their first appearance is in this trade paperback. Okay. So there's original material specifically done for this trade. So yes, 95% of it is reprint material, but um that 5% is actually pretty valuable because it introduces a new uh, superhero team and some new superheroes that I'll be using later. Um, and now the big, 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 big news. Wraith of God and uh, my new label, Empire Comics. Uh, this is gonna be the first of a larger production, hopefully. And this is gonna be a Indiegogo book and also, I'm going to do it on Kickstarter. I'm using both platforms, so I'm going to get as many people exposed to it as possible. I can't do it at the same time. I do one and then the other. Um, but this is the cover. I penciled, inked, and colored this myself. I'll be writing this and penciling it. And uh, if we meet all of our financial goals, I'll have probably Matt Ryan inking it for me and then um, you know somebody like Hi-Fi or somebody coloring it for me. If we don't meet all the financial goals, I'll be doing everything myself. <laughs> <laughs> so it'll take longer, but I think we can hit the numbers and uh, I'm pretty excited about it. It'll be a 72 page graphic novel. In short, it's a um, Batman of the old West who hunts monsters. So I've kind of, um, it's a, it, it's a bit of a moral tale. It's um, he has a, a helper. The Wraith has a helper, uh, an Alfred character. That's actually a female, a Salvation Army worker that uh, helps him out but there's some conflict in their relationship that has to be resolved and um it's kind of a murder mystery too because we have these uh werewolves show up and they're killing people but we don't know exactly who the werewolves are and we might not know till the end of the story so there's a lot of really kind of fun elements in it um so yeah it's a western you can say man i don't like westerns but this is more of a spaghetti western it has character and it has superheroes in it and of course the supernatural with these werewolves and stuff so um it's not just your average you know two gun kid story so um but i'm uh, i'll be launching a what we call a pre-launch page uh within the next couple weeks and that'll be up all through july as i collect people that are interested in it getting their emails that type of thing and then it'll launch in august so uh, and that'll be the first the first um Comic, comic book launch or graphic novel launch of my Empire Comics line. You can see the little logo right there. Um, so anyway, those are my big announcements that I wanted to make sure I got out again before um, I take off in a couple minutes. Now when I say I'm going to take off in a couple minutes, it is true that I will be leaving for an hour, but I will be back at 5.30, give or take a few minutes. I have to take my daughter to work and um, uh, walk around a little bit so that uh, my, my legs still function. And then I'm coming back at 5.30 or so, and then I will go until infinity. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to end tonight. We'll just till I can't take it anymore. And uh, there'll be my color art um, uh, sale will start at 6.30 tonight, Pacific time. So if you're interested in getting some cool stuff uh, at 
I think pretty reasonable prices. In fact, all my professional friends tell me I don't charge enough. So um, you should get it before I change my mind and start charging more. Uh, but anyway, so I got several pieces. I think I have nine color pieces that'll be up. And uh, I'll explain the rules and how all that works uh, before we go into it at 6.30. Uh, but I'll be back on at 5.30 or so, drawing more. And then at 6.30, we'll go into the art. And, and then after that, we'll just start drawing and uh, see where it takes us. Uh, uh, let's see. How deep are you into the Wraith of God just concept stuff? Because there's a lot of criticism on how many indie comics are about werewolves. Um, no, that's not my problem. That's their problem. Um, it's the werewolves are just, it's, it's not a comic about werewolves. The werewolves just happen to be villains in this one. Um, I'm not going to not do it, Vic, just because a few other people are doing it as well. Um, I'm well into it. Let's put it that way. Um, let's take my chances. If it fails horribly, then I'll blame you. No kidding. But, um, there's always going to be, you're always running into competition about everything, you know, and there's always criticism about everything. People are tired of this and tired of that. I have to, my appeal is that I'm doing, you're getting professional quality work, high end professional quality work. And it's, you know, it's worth your investment, uh, regardless of what other people are doing. I mean, that's just kind of how I have to look at it. Cause you could say, you know, if I do a vampire story, well, everybody's doing a vampire story. If I do a zombie story, well, everybody's doing zombie stories. So, you know, you as the buyer, that's your decision. You know, if there's a hundred werewolf books out there, well, I guess you have to pick the best one. Uh, and, you know, I'll just throw mine out there and we'll see what happens. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay. But to answer your question thoroughly here, Vic, uh, it's written and it's in the process of being drawn. It's a story I've been working on for darn near 20 years. So, you know. Well, it's anything else. It's like, what do you do with it? You know, what's the story about? And like I said, this is more of a murder mystery. And it's, you know, it's not just satanic sacrifice and bloodletting and gore all over the place. That's not the kind of stuff I do. So um, there you go, James, you've earned it. Um, so anyway, that's, you know, that's kind of my take on that. And we'll see what happens. All righty, folks, let me, uh, we're just finishing up the inking on this. I gotta, I gotta put the cape on her, but we'll finish that up when I come back. We're gonna take a short hiatus and uh, join me back at around 5.30 if you would all be so kind to do that. I should have made a, I should have made a placard saying back in 15 minutes, um, but I didn't. But we're gonna end the broadcast. And like I said, I will, uh, I will be back. You know what? I've got a few more minutes, so I'm going to, sorry, I faked you guys out. Um, I think I can stretch this out about 10 more minutes, so. So let's finish this cape. All right, she's got, this is the costume where she has pinstripes on her um, tunic thing, but uh, I'm not going to put those in until after 
I do the red and the grayscale on there because I don't want to smear them. And it probably should do my little connecting line over here for this side of the cape. Maybe we'll go like that. We can see the face, the bustier and everything in there. I like it. I think it turned out well. Well, I guarantee you, man, I'll be promoting everywhere. I will leave no stone unturned. I'm not, um, I don't want to put this much work into something and have it not work out. So, um, and what does this say? Back with wings and fries, but you can't have any because the sauce wouldn't do very nice things to your work. Well, the fact that I know that you're actually eating wings and sauce right now i think is a um that's enough to satisfy me until um man i should stop and get like a slice of pizza or something shouldn't i because it's like like i had mentioned earlier when you're at a con what do you get you get um you get like a slice of pizza for seven bucks right or you get one of those pre-made turkey sandwiches for ten dollars uh or a hot dog for you know six bucks so that's what i should do i should go get a, a slice of pizza the thing is can i get it and be back in time that's the question mm, challenging challenging it is sound like yoda mm, challenging it is okay well i'll come back with something uh, but anyway, okay, now it's break time. I'm going to break. It's a perfect time to break. She's done. She's in black and white. We'll come back and hit the uh, grayscale when I, uh, when I return. Um, and, uh, there you have it. So anyway, thanks everybody for joining me in this first two and a half hours. And please come back at five 30 because that's when the marathon really gets going. And that's the art sale. The big art sale starts tomorrow or tomorrow starts tonight at 6 30. So I hope to see all of you back and more in just a little over an hour. So peace, my brothers and sisters. <laughs>